Did you click did. on the live? Well, how are people in the chat right now? Well, no, no. Just somewhere in the middle YouTube page is not working. I'll figure it out. It's not, we don't have to worry about it. <clears throat> okay. I'll figure it out okay. while we're well, sitting here doing this. Yeah. While you figure it out, let me go over the housekeeping items really quick. Um, so as always, we want to remind you guys to watch some of the other shows that are in Truth in the Marketplace um, platform that are under the Truth in the Marketplace platform that is run by Mr. Liddell Bugs. If you guys don't follow him on Instagram, please go do that. But we do have, and they started their show last week. They did yeah. another show. Wait, it's on Sundays. Never mind. So they did it on Sunday. So that's the Age of Men podcast with Nick and Julius. And they had a really good first show out of the gate. Um, and they talk about all things men, but they talk about, you know, things as from a man's perspective. Um, and that is every Sunday, uh, 9 p.m. EST, 6 p.m. PST, Pacific Standard Time. And they premiered it Sunday, January 1st. So you can go back and watch okay. it on the Age of Men pod podcast mm -hmm. YouTube page. And then we are going to have, I think sooner than we think, the Patriots Den is going to be starting up, not this Wednesday necessarily, but it's going to be on Wednesdays at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time. And that is run by Baby Maga, Texas underscore independent. He is a young kid. I think he's like 17, 18 years old. So if you're a parent and your kid's not of an age to kind of get into me and SUNY, even though we, we're really freaking cool. And, you know, Nick and Julius's podcast may be a little bit too much for you. Baby MAGA might be a good starter if you want your kid to get some yeah. good info. Especially watching politics. Exactly. Um, and last but not least, we, of course, have all the shows that Liddell does, which is Real Estate Training Fridays. That is at 5 p.m. on all platforms, Central Standard Time. Then he has the Counter Move podcast show, which he's been talking a lot about Deion Sanders still on there. And that is Thursdays at 8.30 p.m. Central Standard Time, also on all platforms. Yes, so today I'm going to talk about, are you still working on the YouTube channel? We're good. We're up and running. Okay. I dropped it in the chat. Sweet. We're good. Look at that shit. See how we hey, work look, together. Let's let's laugh really quick before we get into some serious topics. When she mentioned the <laughs> Indian guy she felt was talking to her, I was like, this guy is who she was talking to. That's this him. Guy. Patel. His <laughs> last name's Patel. Okay. <laughs> I was about to Bishi, say. <laughs> Bishi Patel, for sure. All the way. Oh, that was hilarious. <laughs> Anyways, thanks guys for tuning in. While we get right. into the show, please drop your location. If you are watching via Facebook, make sure you hit the thumbs up and share it. If you're watching on YouTube, hit the thumbs up, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you never miss another live. Gabrielle Union, in my opinion, or are we, what are we doing first? I actually wanted to, do you, wait, do you feel like you need to warm? Okay. Let me just tell you what I want you to do. Okay. Let's let the people listen to what my idea is Okay, because since we're going to be talking about Gabrielle Union. You know me, I love to do a little funny moment and kind of just warm us up and get us loose. And I was driving around today, um, listening to YouTube and because I watch such like ridiculous shit sometimes, you know, YouTube will recommend some things to me and up started some Kardashian interviews on different podcasts, right? Mm -hmm. So I'm listening to it because I'm just like moving along. It's just background noise to me. And then it started going into the Kardashian episodes. And I was just sitting there and I was thinking to myself, these girls' voices are extremely annoying. Extre like, I don't even know how guys <laughs> find that hot, like find that even remotely attractive for a girl. Oops, sorry. For a girl to talk the like the tone of voice. Hold on one second, because I just unplugged my my headset. <laughs> but the tone of voice that they have is nasally and like what the <laughs> hold on. The tone of voice that they have is like this like nasally, you know, just Ugh. Watch him most struggle. whiny. She's having a real boomer moment. Bullshit. But you see how I keep talking? Okay. We don't stop the show. So no, I'm not having a blonde moment. I heard you. Okay. I have I like you forget. Blonde. No, you forget how, <laughs> how nosy I am. And I got them Latina ears that I can hear what you're talking about when you're talking about me. I didn't even say blonde. 
from a mile <laughs> away. Okay. But listen, but listen. Okay. So then I was like, Oh my God. You know, like back in the day, these black and white movies, the way that they used to like talk to each other, the way the man used to talk to the woman, like it's so romantic and like, Oh, and the way she would talk to him. So I was like, you know what? Let me just calm my spirit and let me just play some black and white movies like in the background so I can like get back down to reality. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> so I was watching this movie and I found this scene and I was just like, can you just imagine if we like put today's girl's voice and today's guy's voice and the way that they talk to each other <laughs> to this particular scene? So... I, I had this great idea, which Suni loved the minute I pitched it to her. <laughs> I was like, why don't we play a scene from a movie? And I'm going to play it so you guys can see what they actually said to each other. But then Suni and I are going to slip into character. Suni is going to play the guy and I'm going to play the nasally girl. <laughs> We're going to act it out. What do you guys think about that? Does that sound like a great idea? Does everybody want to see this? Because I know you do. I know you do. You ready, Sudi? Are you going to play the video? Yeah, hold on. I I'm just making sure you're ready. Okay. I'm going to cue it up. We're just going to watch it because I want you guys to just reminisce. Some of you guys might be young, so you guys don't know nothing about this. But I want you guys to get the feeling for how men and women used to interact with each other okay? okay and then suni and i are gonna get into character so let me just share my screen here all right sit up i've got to get you out of here i thought you had gone no i had to see you once to speak my piece i was getting out because i love you i couldn't bear seeing you and him together Why didn't you tell me before? I know, but I couldn't see straight or think straight. I was a fat-headed guy full of pain. It tore me up not having you. Oh, you loved me. Oh, you loved me. Long ago, all the time since the beginning. I'm afraid I, I can't make it because they gave me pills to sleep. Keep awake. Keep talking. Have you got a coat? In the closet. They didn't want the others to know about me. Okay. So that was the scene. You guys, first of all, men do not do that anymore like the whole time first of all he just came to tell her that he loved her he always loved her while she's dying okay like today's man would just be like next okay like she probably got some std i ain't trying to be with her now that she's dying forget about that okay he ain't trying to see you in your worst moments look at first of all she is dying and look at how good she looks she doesn't have a bonnet on she ain't got no like trashy pajamas on she literally has her hair done <laughs> she's looking good he came over in a suit he's there to impress right <clears throat> okay i'm gonna keep talking but i'm gonna turn off my camera because we need i need to get into character <laughs> suni if you need to put something on or if you're good <laughs> i just want everybody to know i didn't consent to this <laughs> I'm not an actor. I mean, an actress. Okay. Um, I don't know what I don't like. I don't, I don't know. <clears throat> I'm just going to wing it. And I'm going to say what I think a guy now would say um, and do my best. So if, if let me know if I'm representing you well, men. Okay. <laughs> Uh, 
Oh, God. He said my laugh. Everybody likes my laugh, bro. I hate the way I laugh. I feel like I sound, a, sound like a... <laughs> Okay. Bible. Bible. I had to get into character. Because, like, seriously? Like, who even let me wear black? Like, black is so out. Everything is about neutrals and earth tones. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like, the Yeezys. Oh, wait. No, we're not talking about Yeezys anymore because, like, Kanye is so canceled. You know what I mean? Yeah. Anyways, okay, so we may have to do this a few times. We may have to do this a few times, but we're going to start the video over again, okay? <laughs> okay. And then we're just going to ad-lib this as we go. Okay. Okay. okay? okay. <clears throat> no sound this time. No sound. There's going to be no sound to this. <laughs> if you need to restart, if you need like a cut and like a restart, just let me know. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Wait, okay. is Liddell is Liddell in the chat? Is he like over me right now? Has he popped up? <laughs> oh my god, you're this wig. He's here. He's here. Liddell, do you <sighs> love me? Oh my god. Okay, ready? Okay. I think I think he says something first. So do you have your first line? I don't. Okay, but I'm going to steal some lines from, from the chat. Okay. <laughs> this is going to be so hard. Okay. okay ready? Set. <laughs> okay. Oh, wait. It's not muted. What the wait. fuck? Hold on. Hold yeah, on. Hold on. I don't hear it. <clears throat> you don't hear it? Okay. I hear it. Hold on. Okay. Okay. Go ahead. We're going to do it again. Hold on. <laughs> Let me hit it one time before you die. Bible, did you really just wake me up from my nap? I'm exhausted. I had an all-nighter. <laughs> yep, I woke you up from your nap. Oh, my God. Like, seriously? <laughs> We've been seeing each other for, like, 10 years, and you feel like you could just come over here? What if I had another dude coming? Bro, What? What? I really feel like emasculated by you right now. And I don't know if I feel safe in my own apartment. Like you're holding me a little too close. You feel emasculated. Absolutely. So because me I came over here to ask it, I smash in, in the middle of the night. You hashtag you, me too movement. But you're awake and you didn't say no. Are you freaking kidding me right now? I have to say no. <laughs> you should already assume I'm a woman. I can do everything by myself, and that includes sex. I don't need you. <laughs> I don't even need you to have a baby, which, by the way, we didn't even have sex, and I'm already pregnant. So deal with that. The check's in the mail, okay? Hashtag baby daddy. Baby daddy. Where are you going? Wait a minute. I didn't tell you to leave. I'm lonely. Stop. That was excellent, Suni. <laughs> <laughs> they told me to talk that. about your weight. Hey, they like that line, but you're awake. <laughs> but you're awake? What is it? Hold on. Because you're like, it's in the middle of the night and you're trying to smash. I'm like, yeah, but right. you're awake. You're not Should safe. I keep <laughs> Look at this. Look at this wig. Oh, Lord. Wait, wait, wait. Turn around. Turn around. Turn around. No, Put the headphones like back. <laughs> it's because I have a bun. It's because I have a bun. Like, it should she be, like, the... laying like this. That's a Cardi B wig. Right? Yeah. That's a Cardi B wig. Did I do Anything. a good job, guys? Did I did I depict you well? I felt like a guy would be totally speechless in that moment like I was and just listen to you rant. Because, like, yeah. what the F do you say to that? But seriously, like all joking aside, this is why guys just don't aren't like this anymore because girls are like such an immediate <laughs> turn off. You know what I mean? Like immediately. They're just like, a, like, just kill it. He said, well, can I just watch another man smash it? You guys went totally X rated. <laughs> oh, the Wait, was the chat telling you what to do? The chat was telling me what to do. The chat oh. said, talk about her weight. Someone told me to say, stop rubbing my neck with your mouth. 
Yeah, but I wasn't I'm, seeing these until I'm it was over. Get, you should have said that. I'm going to get get COVID. Did you have a COVID shot? <laughs> That's what you should have said before you came up in here and like rubbed on my neck. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't even think about that. See? <laughs> we'll do it. Do you guys like this that we just reenact? We just do a voiceover? That was fun. That was kind of fun. Yeah. See? Acting is fun. fun. Acting is fun. <laughs> <sighs> All right, now we are warmed up to talk about the oh so ridiculous Gabrielle Union. Ugh, yeah. So Gabrielle Union Gabrielle Union is a slute and D Wade is a beta. And that's just it. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but we knew we knew that he, that he was a beta before this interview that she did. Um, which I'm gonna to share with you guys like these events that it's she just made solidified um, it though like god damn solidified it and i'm like first of all i need to re remember maybe they'll mention it in this um in this article that i'm gonna really quick so you guys kind of know what's going on but the Wait. dude that she was talking about her ex-husband i need him to speak up i need him to burn her after all the shit she said <laughs> okay um okay so gabrielle union States that she regrets her first marriage, but not necessarily the infidelity. Like what? The infidelity? So she's 50 years old, which I didn't know, but she appeared on Monday's episode of Dax Shepard's Armchair Expert podcast, and they discussed cheating in their earlier relationships. The star described her first marriage, oh, to former NFL player Chris Howard as a dysfunctional from day one. They wed in 2001 and divorced in 2006. The fact that they stayed married that long, like blows my mind. Um, she said, I definitely was not getting wife of the year award in my first marriage. Neither one of us felt like the marriage should get in the way of our dating. What? Yeah. Like she wanted to, she wanted to be married and she wanted a date. So she wanted to have an open relationship. Isn't this what Lopez always talks about? See, and you know what? I'm glad you brought that up because <clears throat> men will ask for stuff like this, right? And I don't even know if he asked, but you brought up Lopez. Men will ask for stuff like this. And then when women go act like the sleuths that they have to be in order to participate in this type of relationship, then they lose their ish. Like, exactly. Listen, I had to hide my upper lip because I was white or I didn't want people to know that I was black. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I forgot. I keep forgetting she says that. Look, she did it. <clears throat> Is that the guy? Is that her ex-husband right there? That's her ex-husband, yeah. Okay, so apparently he cheated also. She she added that part of her infidelity was because Howard also was allegedly cheating. The other part was her ideology on power dynamics in a relationship. She said, get this. She said, "I just this is a quote. I just felt entitled to do it as well. I was paying all the bills like my dad before me, whoever has the most, like my dad told me, whoever has the most gets to do whatever the hell they want. That sounds like a very childish approach to marriage or relationships. Like what? <clears throat> so are we to assume that she makes more than D Wade? I was going to say no. But I don't know. That's a good question. I don't I don't know. <laughs> he does sports commentary and he appears on different things, right? Or is he not doing anything? I don't know. I, I that's a good I, question. I'm not even I'm not even checking for him. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, but he's a he, he's a he's something else. He's an interesting he, character. Or yeah, yeah, he really is. So, I don't know. What this do you, is, what? I just, you know, women. Repeal the Women. Notes. Yeah. I mean. <laughs> what do you say to that? I felt entitled to go cheat and whoever makes more calls the shots. So then if she, if she can grasp that concept of whoever makes more calls the shots. Right. That means she understands she is also in competition with her man because it's whoever makes more, which would really, really showcase today's environment of men and women. Like you said, when mm -hmm. we did acted out that skip. Mm -hmm. Yeah, women are <clears throat> ushering in their own demise 
I used to feel bad. Uh, I had a Candace Owens moment because I think she's going through that now. Of Oh, man, I go hard on women. But every day I wake up and there is a new level of just like, what the F? From these right. supposedly angelic beings that don't mm-hmm. crap, you know, because men think women are mermaids that don't take shits. Clearly <laughs> right. we do. In right. our own homes, backyards, beds, living rooms, wherever she was, was deciding to get down. But damn. <laughs> gosh. Yeah. That was kind of rough to listen to. Ugh. Like It is. And, you know, <sighs> this is where, like, that whole, like, that whole line of, like, women earning as much as men can earn gets yeah. really dangerous because you have these girls out here that have this mindset so yeah. and the I don't need a man mindset also. It just right. keeps getting like just worse and worse and worse the more woke we get. It does. But you know what? I don't know. Parts of me keep hope alive yeah. that women will look at that interview and look at all the stuff she said and say that is not that's not that doesn't represent us. I don't know what she's doing but that is just nasty. I would now I'm not. I'm hopeful. <laughs> I don't know if it'll happen, but I'm hopeful. Yeah. Who do you think is worse? In the okay. chat, I want to know: Brittany Renner <laughs> or Gabrielle? You, if you had to save one of those women, who would you save? You have to say, Suni. You have to save one. You know who I'm saving? I'm sa- I'm saving Brit all day long. So who am I saving, Brittany Renner or Gabrielle Union? Yeah. Like, like, like if the end of the world was coming. Oh, I'm, and... saving, I'm saving Brittany Renner. I can tolerate her. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Unless I had like a, you know, a very just weird mind, there would be no reason for Gabrielle Union to be around. <laughs> so she really is the worst of the two because she produces... Because Lord. of what she's done to someone else's child. Like, I don't know. Just something yeah. as a mom in she's me. Like a groomer. I would beat her ass up and down the street until my child turns normal. Like, you're going to get this work every single day of your life. That's right. just me. Hashtag save the hose. That's what Sunni's basically saying. No, no. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> Listen here. Judy would hey. say Brittany. Brittany Renner is a 304. Brittany Renner openly bragged about trapping men. Brittany Renner is a modern day superhead. What's a 304? I can't I can't say the actual word because we will get taken down. But it's a tool in the garden. Can you use a different I I just need to know. It's a tool in the garden. Oh, a hoe. We can't say hoe? Yeah. Since when? I, mean, I hey, said look, save the hose. You did oh, you did say save the hose. But you put a Z, you said hose. So hose. that changed it. Okay. Okay. I'll say hose. Why is 304? Because you can't type ho. It's it's degrading to women when you say ho. So they have yeah. come up with 304, which spells ho backwards. Wow. The streets. And sometimes people say 403s, but it's much easier to say 304s. Okay. Now yeah. I'll know. When I hear that being called out, I'll be like, 304, <laughs> like hoes. <laughs> she does not like Christian Walker. Oh, you, I, now listen. She what? both of these both of these sloots might be left out to dry. Oh, I think she I think Fabian saying, oh Br- no, he did say Brittany Renner likes Christian Walker, but at least she doesn't support trans. She likes Absolutely. I've never heard her mention Freaking Christian Walker. Not. Somebody no, sent me a video of Christian Walker. Who was it? I haven't seen anything from him. Somebody's- Matthew. Matthew says, most so innocent. I am innocent, Matthew. Thank you for noticing. Cue the angel music. I'm innocent. <laughs> I got these people full. Just joking. <laughs> Dude, she has you fooled. No, I am innocent, Matthew. I'm very, I'm very angelic. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> what else do we have? This, you know. <clears throat> what happened? I'm I'm innocent out of all out of both of us. Yeah, you know what? That's true. You really actually are more innocent than me. I am. I'm just blunt. 
That's what look, I, I am so I'm such a square, bro. I am such really a square. Are. You really are. Suni really is. Like I say stuff to Suni sometimes and she's like, ew, and then she, like, she doesn't want to talk about it. Like I've had a Britney Renner past, kind of. Suni literally <laughs> married her first love, like lost her virginity to her husband. Like she's pure. Yeah, it's, she's... listen, Matthew. I'm a jerk. Okay. But I <laughs> no, I no. You're the most innocent person here. No, listen, we're going to move on to the next topic before I have to put you on front street, sir. I'm going to let Mo pick the next topic. I like when Mo chooses the topics. The show I think the to way smoother when you do it. I think the topic we should move on to is because like we're along the line of like unruly women. Yes. We should talk about Dana White slapping the taste out of his wife's mouth. Equal right, many, equal left. Let's go. Right. How many of y'all saw the Dana White tape of his wife? Getting tapaliza, as we like to call it in the Hispanic community. She said, that's what happened. Yeah. Yeah. So we're going to show a video here. Um, but apparently, I think this was on New Year's Eve. Dana White and his wife were <laughs> drinking it up in the club. And like in the video, you see her get it in his face. And he slaps her back. Okay, let's roll this video. Get big so you guys can see it. He slapped the taste. He and slapped I, the fire at her. He slapped the fire at her mouth. Okay, wait, hold on. Let me start it over. All right. Wait, what the heck? I'm so slow. TMZ. All right. Okay, so they're doing like the classic he's holding her hand or super close. She's probably like, I know I saw you over there talking to that girl. I know you're doing her. I can't say the F word, but I really want to for effect. I know you're doing her. What? What are you talking about? And then she's like, I fucking hate you. You ruined my life. Wait, babe, don't. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Dang. He said, pow, pow. He <laughs> said, fuck around and find out. Yep. That's what he yep. said. So I want to like just back it up a little bit here to where <laughs> that boy came way up here. You see his hand? <laughs> look at, but look at her face. Look at her face. You could tell like she got her nose all scrunched up like this. This guy right here <laughs> in between them, he already knows what's fixing to happen. Okay, look at that. Damn. And you can tell, like, he's trying to, like, withhold her arms. He's really trying to, like, avoid an altercation. He's got his hands on her arms. She tries to walk away. And he probably says some slick shit right there. And then, pow. She, and that's then, a closed fist. That is a closed hand. She did this. And he slapped the. Did dog. he slap her face? Wait a minute. Did he slap her face or did he? He slapped her. Look at his hand. It's open. Did she just dodge it? Because it looks like he hit her shoulder. Nah, he's a strong man, and that I almost called it a b word. Listen, she she it was f it was an f a f o moment, and I'm glad she found out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I posted. So I'm going to tell you, I posted the video, and I was just like, well. She slapped him first, you know? Now, I'm, like, not a proponent of men ever hitting women. I don't think you should do it. I think you should just avoid it at all costs. Um, I think he should have turned around, turned around and walked away. But at the same time, the ladies that think you want an equal society, you want men to be treated or women to be treated yep. like men, this is what you're up against right here. You want to act like a dude? You want to step to a dude like a, like you're a man? You're gonna get dealt like one, <laughs> dealt like you're one, right? I agree with that. That's my philosophy. I'm gonna yeah. teach my son that. I'm gonna teach my daughters that. Keep your hands to yourself unless you want somebody to sucker punch you back. And I can't save you if someone chooses to do that, to do that to you, especially if mm -hmm. you did something to merit that response. And nor would I. Right. I'm sorry, but 
we're we're not here to fight our children's battles, bro. You get caught up in some stuff, you better figure it out. Unless it's something you I just agree. can't figure out, hey. <laughs> Don't be signing checks. Your ass can't cash. So it looks like, so they've been married 26 years. The couple and their group were in a VIP area above the dance floor. Of course, somebody was down below with a camera. See, this is the other thing. You got to recognize if you're going to go out in a public place. Apparently, they were in Cabo San Lucas. Somebody's going to have that camera on you trying to catch a viral moment. Yep. Um, the eyewitnesses in the club tell TMZ that Dana and Anne both seemed heavily intoxicated prior to the violence and the video seemed to bear that out because things went from zero to a hundred in an instant, seemingly for no reason. Come on. Furthermore, we were told the conflict was all over in less than a minute. We spoke to Dana about the incident and he admits he and Anne have been drinking heavily, but quickly add that there's no excuse for him getting physical. You heard me say for years, there's never been an excuse for a guy to put his hands on a woman. And now here I am on TMZ talking about it. He says he's embarrassed by the horrible incident and he and Anne have apologized to each other. He says they're good, but their biggest concern now is for their three kids with whom they have already discussed the fight. So I have a question. Yeah. Why do they owe the public an apology they're having a normal like i'm not saying that yeah. it's normal to abuse each other i'm not saying right. that but mm -hmm. you have alcohol in the mix y'all are already arguing about something some you it's a recipe for disaster you know something's gonna happen so why are why are they apologizing like for what you know because it's always like okay you have a public moment you know somebody catches you fighting in the street and now you owe an explanation it's kind of like those people from E entertainment or whatever that we're having the affair or Ume Udoka and his wife, you know, that there was that situation. It's just like, I agree. Like it's, it makes it worse that people put these public moments between couples in the news just for like publicity and hits and likes and whatever. Yeah. And yeah, their kids would have never known about it had it not right. been made public. Exactly. <clears throat> Mind your business. That's see, mind this is a moment where I'm like, mind your business. He's not dog. He's not like beating the crap out of her. She right. punched him in the face clearly, and he had a reaction. He's drinking, and he punched her back. I don't think that that's a man not being a man. That's a natural response. Like you literally put your hands on somebody. Mm -hmm. Come on. Yeah, you shouldn't be apologizing, Dana White. Tell them equal rights, equal lefts. That's right. And I would have came out and said, I'm non-binary. Now what? <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. I would have come out and say I'm not I'm not a man or a woman. So what are you saying? Well, I mean, I guess you could say that if you just met him in the club, but they've been married for 26 years. He's like, I know I'm what you're talking are. about to the news. Oh, oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. You should have played he should have played it smart. Yep. He should have played it smart. Come on, bro. You should have played it smart. Come on, man. Okay. Let's keep it on women. I think we have like a woman theme here. We do. And, and a hoe theme because let's talk about <laughs> Cardi B. Oh, let's talk about Cardi B. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, but that song's a bop. I don't care what anybody says. <laughs> I don't care. Cardi um, B, man. Are you going to pull it up? The video? Yeah. Which one of Joe Biden or? Yeah, pull up the pull? pull up the recent statement she made. Okay. Um, and and it. while you're while talk. you're doing that, I'll I'll talk. So, <clears throat> I don't know if you guys remember that before the presidential election, there was like this huge thing that Cardi B went live with Joe Biden and did this fake ass interview with him. In fact, you know what? While Suni's pulling that up, I'm going to go to my YouTube channel and I'm going to pull it up because I did a video on this and please forgive me like what I even look like because I don't even remember, you know, these were back in the days when I was like growing out my hair and, you know, wearing wigs and whatnot. So who knows what I look like. Um, but, oh, you know what I'm going to pull up? The more recent video I made about her and the comments she said before this last one. I think I played the, I oh, think inflation? I played the video. Yeah, I think I played in the beginning. Hold on. Let me just see. 
Let me just see really quick if I played in the beginning because I think it. Okay, so yeah, I do. Okay, I'm going to share my screen really quick. This is not the recent video. This is another video that she was asking, how are people getting by with the current cost of living? So this was the very first comments that she made along the lines of inflation. And this was about three months ago. Okay, so you guys can see. I hope I shared audio. Hold on. Let me go back really quick because I got to share the audio. All right. Like, how are people surviving? I want to know. I, You know, like, my family and my friends, they're so grateful to have me. But it's just like, yo, what happened to people that don't have a me? <laughs> What's going on with the people that don't have a means? You know one thing that people was coming at me every single time that we saying that something bad in the economy is happening? And people be like, well, you was the one that told people to vote for Joe Biden. I want to tell y'all that I get it. Don't ever think I'm one of these rich people that don't, don't get it and don't give a fuck. I get it. I care, but I can't do shit about it, bitch. <laughs> okay, so she said what? that. What? Yeah, she said that. I made some comments. I think I played the video in here did i play it let me just see oh medicare oh my god my face is like so right there mo no i didn't play it and i didn't play it in this video but if you don't remember she did an interview with joe biden where mm -hmm. she was talking about her concerns going into this presidential election and she mentioned you know, Joe said, hey, Cardi, what is your concern? Like, what do you care about? And she said, well, I care about Medicare and um, equal rights. <laughs> and, um, you know, I mean, I just think we just need to have equality around the way. Like, you know, like that's what she was saying. That's like a terrible Cardi B impersonation, but it's what I've got. Here it is right here. Yeah, I'll play a little bit of it. Free Care. And this is important to have free Medicare. Look, look, look what's happening right now. We should have been having free Medicare for a long time. I have think that we need a free college education. We're going to have. Listen to me. Listen to me. <laughs> Bro, oh. who believes this woman actually wants free health care and free education? Mm hmm. And then this broad had the nerve to say, and y'all told me, to, you told me to go vote for him. I get it. I get it. Just because I'm rich don't mean I don't understand your problems. Ain't nothing I could do about it. There actually is. You can shut the fuck up for once. Right. Or don't shut up. And Candace should reach out to Cardi. Right. In the bridge. Go for Dude. it. Me and Mo were talking about this earlier. Yeah, we had this idea. Well, and this is where the idea came from was because when I had posted and this, if you can, I don't know if you found the video, the latest comment that she made. Yeah, I have it. Okay. But Suni and I were talking about it because I posted that video on my page and then somebody said to me, and I think somebody even said it here in the comments, who's listening to these people? Okay. This, let me tell you something. This is where the Democrats excel is they yep. understand how culture works and who is going to speak and reach the culture, okay? So they yep. know Cardi B has a huge following, okay? Yep. When she says and does something, people copy it. Her husband also is famous and offset and, you know, same thing, right? So they understand that if they reach out to these people, fill their head with all the things that all the propaganda that they want to pass on to their fans so that those people go to the voting booth because yep. P.S. Those are the people that are going to the voting booth. Older people aren't going anymore, you know, like or they're going to be dead soon and they're not going to be voting. It's going to be these young people that follow Cardi B, unfortunately. So the Democrats understand that. And they target, yeah. they target. And this is where the Republicans fall short is they don't get in touch with culture. They don't. Listen, right. Belcalese. Belcalese. Belcalese, you told <laughs> us to go vote for Biden and you've sent millions of people to go vote 
And now this is a direct result from you wasting the American people's time to go tell them to vote for a brain dead president, which I'm sure you knew was brain dead because clearly your brain works to say, wow, <laughs> lettuce is six dollars and people broke. So I know your brain works. I know it works. But this and is Cardi also B would why be like, we need to repeal the 19th. Cardi B would be like, SUNY, I see what you're saying, but um, you know, like. I don't know. Like, I'm from Brooklyn, and, you know, I'm from the streets, and shit don't work like that. <laughs> I'm a hood Bethelese. bitch. I'm a hood bitch. Meet Belkley. So what's your sister? Bacardi. Okay. Just call me Bacardi. Hennessy. Her name is Hennessy. Hennessy. Hennessy and Bacardi. That's right. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Those are your people. <laughs> Those oh, are my, I know, right? Those are the Hell no, she's Dominican. Okay, those are, those are different. Don't ever confuse a Dominican and a Puerto Rican. You get okay. yourself shot. Fine. Fine. I can't. But she, she don't looked. even. She thinks she's black though. Like she don't even claim Puerto Rican. She thinks she's I black. Don't black. Shut up. She, she... wants to be black. <laughs> black. All right. Here's, here's here's the updated video of mm -hmm. uh, Belka Lee's running her mouth. Shut up something when i be complaining about food prices and y'all motherfuckers be like ain't you rich why you complaining about lettuce why you complaining about this that just goes to show me when you be when you become successful when you have money you're gonna fucking you're gonna go broke soon because y'all not budgeting i get a summary of the money that's being spent in my home every week so when i'm starting to see they're like groceries is like tripling up it's like, hey, yo, what the fuck is going on? I Can I just pause real quick and say that all these women are starting to look like goddamn Bratz dolls? I know, Her. right? Why I does know. she look like that? Dude, she's had a lot of plastic, plastic surgery. If y'all used to work, shout out to Love and Hip Hop back in the day. I was a huge Cardi B fan. Like, oh you know, when God. she still had her bad teeth and she was going to classes to learn how to speak properly. What'd she say? If we, if we into it, bitch, we into it forever. <laughs> <laughs> Forever. Okay. Mm -hmm. Anyways, she was like a brat stall. What's going on? I want to see for myself what the fuck shit is being spent on. And like when I go to the fucking supermarket, like I went to the supermarket, and I'm seeing that everything tripled up. That like lettuce was like two dollars a couple of months ago, and now it's like fucking seven. Of course, say something. The fuck? Because if I think that shit is crazy. I could only imagine what middle class people or people in the hood is motherfucking thinking. So, yes, I'm going to say something. The fuck? And I have a big platform. So the fuck? I I'm going to say she, something. I love when she mixes in, like, proper English words in with the fuck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to get into it, Suni. The fuck? <laughs> <laughs> hey, look. This is why. See? This is why Candace came at her the way she did. And this is why I didn't feel bad. Because a lot of people are like, why is Candace talking to her like that? Stay in your lane and there will be no traffic. Mm -hmm. And because Cardi B didn't stay in her musical lane and make the ratchet, degenerate music she makes, she is now... Society is, is responding to what you did. You promoted mm -hmm. Joe Biden. All That's of right. you black celebrities did. Want to be black celebrities or honorary black celebrities, who are whoever you are. All of you told everybody and their mama to go vote for Joe. So I don't feel bad. I'm glad she's getting backlash. I hope Candace reaches out to her and I hope she can learn a lesson. Bill yeah. Calise, shut up. Because you don't know <laughs> She's what so talking cute about. right there. You know what? I, this is what we said is like Candace has been really like up in her street cred lately. Like she has been really showing that she is in fact black, you know, with some of her recent things that she's been coming out to say, right? <laughs> so I was like, now is the time for Candace to tweet her and be like, cause you know, they've had tweet beef before yeah. and now's the time for her to reach out and be like, Hey girl, let's squash this. I can explain to you why inflation is hitting you exactly. the way it is. Right. Exactly. Even exactly. bring on, you know, some other people that, you know, could also kind of engage in the conversation. Um, but that would be an amazing thing. Like me and Suni would definitely tune in and sub be longtime subscribers. Yeah, for sure. Of the Daily that. Wire, bro. I would re I would do so many videos on that one video on mm -hmm. her just doing that alone. And do you know how many other people will be talking about that? Yeah, Bre this it would, would go, be all over the Breakfast massive. Club. It would be all over Shade Room. It would be massive. Hopefully, I don't know. Some of these guys listen to us. They follow us. 
take our advice. I'm just saying. And by the way, I'm not even kidding. This bra looks like a freaking Brad's doll. That's crazy. You and her face doesn't to- even look like this anymore. You know, like the Cardi B now, I, and I've seen her without makeup. Like she does a lot of videos like completely bare. Yeah. And and actually her real hair is gorgeous. Like she's got just beautiful long hair. It's um, long. Yeah. It's long. It's curly. She actually is not a bad looking girl. Now, I remember her back in the day on Love and Hip Hop and she didn't look like that. She was all out busted. It's it's amazing what a couple <laughs> bucks will do for you. OK, <laughs> it's amazing. Amazing. But yeah, <laughs> but, she, you know, OK, y'all are going to hate me for this because I know Cardi girl, just said some bags, stupid shit. Pack your bags, girl, you busted. <laughs> Oh yeah, I don't know why this song is in my—is that the Isley Brothers song? Yes, is that the one you're singing? Girl, you busted! <laughs> Dude, I okay, love I'm that sorry. song. I love sorry. that song. Okay, but y'all are gonna hate me for this because oh, I know what, she says what <laughs> she's about. She's got her finger on the repeal of the nineteenth. I know it, but much like Britney Renner, there's a part of me that likes Cardi B. (laughs) And I feel like if somebody would just explain to Cardi what the deal is, like, I feel like we could all, you know what I mean? Like I could see myself, no, Sudi, I could see myself in my head being besties with her. Just because- best friends with Cardi B. I kinda could. You know how everybody has that one friend in their life that's a little ratchet? I know you know. Do you have any ratchet? (laughs) I'm your ratchet friend. I'm kidding. kidding. You really are sheltered. If I'm your ratchet friend. Wait a minute. See, now. First of all, you have heard my sister talk. You have heard my mother talk. I come from a long line of ratchetness. I know ratchet people. I had to give you shit. Ratchet. You're not ratchet. You're a little ratchet. You're like me. It comes out when it needs to come out. I have ratchet moments for sure. I do have ratchet moments, but I don't know. What? I have a... just Look, whatever floats your boat. (laughs) That's all I got to say. Whatever floats your boat. If Cardi B is someone you could be friends with, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I just, I would just be lost. Like, how are you friends with this person? Like I don't know. I kind of feel like I could get you to like her. Like if her and I started like talking, I'd be like, hey, Suni, I'm going to hop on a call with Cardi. You want to get on? And you'd be like, no. And I'd be like, just come on. It would be like, no. <laughs> like She oh, would I'm love good. it. She would love it. I would sit there and listen. And okay. I think I would intrigue her so much that she would be like, why does bitch not talk him? <laughs> <laughs> Suni. Suni. <laughs> Why is she not the talking? Fuck? The fuck is your problem? <laughs> the fuck? <laughs> the fuck? Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm sure Cardi's not bad. I just, you know, yeah, I'm good. I'm good. I'm sure she's yeah. not bad though. Like, I don't think she's a, a horrible person. I'm just save her, Candace. Not interested. Save, save her, Candace. Please save Cardi hope. B. I think she's worth saving. Yeah. <sighs> I mean, you know what, though? Wait, shout out. Shout out to her for getting an itemized, detailed list of what's being spent in her household. I'm just saying. Like, she's probably got assistance. And you know what? She's learning from all these other people that have been jacked around and stolen from. And she's probably like, not on my watch. Y'all are going to give me a list of where all the money's going. Like, I I get that. (laughs) Hey, look. Shameless plug while we're moving on to the next subject. I have been super busy in the lab working on our Truths in the Marketplace gear, merch site. Here is a sneak preview at all the merch that is going to be coming out. We're going to have t-shirts, hoodies, beanies, and there will be more things to come. Um, Yeah, I think we're also going to have a website. We're going to have a ton of stuff. So you guys be on the lookout for that. When this merch site drops, it will be super easy. T-I-T-M merch.myshopify.com. So be ready to spend some Dallas on some fire merch. That's Please right. be ready. Please be ready. All right. I think we're all out of girl topics. We're done bashing women for the night. No, we're not. We, we have but one we more have. woman to bash. 
We actually we have do? several more more, more, more <gasps> women today. We do. We do. Oh, it was y'all. actually a crazy time. Um, we were sitting here like, what the? Talking about this lady. Is it, have we, you seen anybody else talk about this? Honestly. No. And since why? you and I talked, I've been like on the lookout for it. I'll tell you why. Because I found okay. a video on YouTube that some guy tried to talk about it on Twitter of all places, the freest platform that we have right now. And he said ever. that they are censoring people who post about this. And when we tell you really? guys what this is, yeah, when we tell you guys what this is, it's going to blow your mind because this is a moment where Suni's about to come back on something she said. Sorry, I've got I'm going to come back. You're going to come back and like revisit something that you said. Really? If there is proof, you said if there is proof mm-hmm. that. The you know what was stolen. Mm-hmm. That 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 the votes were messed with. Yes. That you would come back and say, "Hold on, just a minute." I will. Well, this moment. Where's has... the? Pr- I haven't seen it. Wait a minute! Isn't this video? Isn't this audio? <laughs> Are you wait, kidding? Wait, no. See, look. When we talked, when we talked, what was the one thing that I kept saying? I was hung up on. Who is they? Who is they? You still haven't figured that out. No. How can I, like, like I said, if it comes out that she is indeed saying the they is Democrats, I will be like, bro, the election was stolen and she said it. Look, I got the clips. But who is they? I'm we should play the clips here. I have some of the clips here. It's a few clips, you guys. So be patient. But but can we set it up really quick for those people that don't know who this is? Yeah, go ahead. Because I think that's part of the Go problem. <clears throat> I'll so, pull up her photo while you talk. Okay. So the clips that you're going to hear were actually posted originally by a woman named Travion, who back when this happened, um, testified, I think, to the police in Georgia that she had been made aware of fraud going on. Okay. Mm. And I don't know what the timing is because I reached out to her to ask her questions so I could get them answered. So I don't know what the timing is from that moment when she spoke to police and, you know, gave her testimony to the moment where she has these recordings with a woman named Ruby Freeman. And Mm -hmm. Ruby Freeman, if you guys don't remember, testified before Congress. Her and her daughter testified before Congress because they worked at a Georgia um, poll polling center. And they were the ones that were seen on camera pulling ballot ballot boxes out from under the table. Do y'all remember that? Like that was like a big to do that. Oh, Mm -hmm. my gosh. They had some like water main break and something happened where everybody had to exit the building. Right. And then these two people, Ruby and her daughter, come in and they're taking the ballot boxes out from underneath the table, which, you know, spurred this whole thing. Like, well, wait a minute. What were those? What were, what, what, what are you doing? Well, why are they under the table? Like, what's going on? Okay. So her and her daughter testified in tears, <laughs> in tears to Congress about how their lives were ruined when President Trump came out and made these accusations about them. They could no longer go about their normal life. They were getting threats. <laughs> um sorry. Yeah, like I even found like this channel, like of this white woman. I don't even know what the hell was going on. Maybe I'll play it after this. But she literally was like live stream watching it. And like as Ruby and her daughter were talking, she was like, (laughs) and she was like crying and she was just like losing her mind. I was like, why the fuck are you crying? She was crying because like she was sad that their lives had been ruined by this whole moment. Can I ask you a question? Now, sure. I decided to go back and watch the January 6th uh, hearings. I did too. Please explain to me why there is no proof, screenshot, of someone telling Ruby Freeman's daughter, you're lucky this is not 1920. Like, why? What? 
That was that was one of her claims. The reason why she felt her life was in danger is because of the death threats and that specific message that she got after Trump said what he mm-hmm. said about her. Where is the screenshot? And get this. While she's giving this testimony, okay? She says, I don't even know how Facebook Messenger works. The FBI had to show me. Mm-hmm. And my messages, oh my God, it was just so full and it was overwhelming. But I remember mm-hmm. this one specific message that told me if it was night, you're lucky this is not 1920s. And I'm like, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. okay, so, so yeah. What? <laughs> so the messages that SUNY is about to play are the recordings that Travion made of Ruby talking to the police and telling them what she didn't tell Congress when she testified. Oh, damn. So, I didn't know that. Whoa. Well, okay. Right. Well, I mean, I'm assuming like her story yeah. all of a sudden changes, right? Because in these audio tapes, you hear her talking about how the FBI. Oh, yeah, we did talk about this. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The FBI told her, you know, delete your social media, disappear, like don't go out of your house, like lay low, blah, 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 blah. And then she makes a comment in one of the tapes because we're going to play a few tapes and we apologize because they're we don't know what order they really go in. Yeah. So they might sound a little sketchy, like as far as like how it's coming about. But she says in the tapes, y'all are going to find out real soon. I want a lawyer and I want to go on she like a podcast that. or something and make a video and say everything, but I'm not going to do it until I get a lawyer. So that's why we're a little bit confused on the timeline of it all. Because what we do know is when she was saying that the FBI had already told her to delete all her social media and she didn't know how to yeah. do that. So they went into her social media. She gave them access to her social media, which God knows what they did after that. Mm-hmm. So we do know that about the timing. And then we know that she says, Oh, I want to I want a lawyer. I want a lawyer. She wants representation. So is this something recent? Let's play the tape so we can ask people what they think. What do you think? What? What what does she mean so by she, we reopen them up? She's talking about her and her daughter. Cause those are the ones that were on the camera. So she's talking about them. Cause remember, this was the water main break. Everybody was evacuated. <laughs> but those two were able to come in. Now, one might ask themselves, why were they able to come in? Right? So while you queue up this next video, I want to show the one that I had sent you where Ruby Freeman. Yeah. Ruby Freeman posted this on social media and somebody grabbed it because social media is forever. But listen to what this is a video Ruby Freeman made while working in the polling center. This is crazy. You guys are going to hear this. So you can kind of, we're, we're putting context around it. 
Is it playing? Oh, I hate I, this. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Probably three times that ain't gonna happen. So I let them do it. Yeah. Whew. So, hey Dion, what's going on? How are you? <sighs> yeah. So, I got a lot of work to do, y'all. So I'm working seven days a week, but I'm getting it done. I was out for 10 days, cause I ain't like the way things were going. So I just said, mm. yeah, anywho, I'll see y'all when I see ya, but I'm back. So I'm gonna pause it right there. Like <laughs> the first thought that came to my mind is, like what kind of operation are they running at these polling centers where you could just be like, Hey, I'm going to be a poll worker. And then you just decide you don't like the way things are going. So you take off for 10 days. Like, how is it that the polling center allows that? Like the fuck, like in Cardi B's voice, like the fuck, <laughs> you know what I mean? This is why, this is why there's a difference between, between natives and natives and black. <laughs> Sudi, don't say that. <laughs> Not even for Ruby Freeman. Okay, let's keep playing Ruby here. Ready to work. Ready to work. I'm gonna, look, I'm gonna let y'all see this. Okay, don't say nothing. Listen, look. Don't say nothing. I'm gonna let y'all see this. Don't say don't nothing. Don't say nothing. Even though I'm gonna put that on social media. For everybody to see. Everybody to see. So she's showing the ballot boxes. Sudi, what'd you say to me? When you when we first watched this, you said she's so black. I did. I did. <laughs> said, this is some this black, is some black shit. <laughs> She said, "Don't say no. I'm, I'm gonna show you guys something real quick." <laughs> Whispering as she's walking around a secure polling center, showing the ballot boxes. Oh, 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 shit. Yeah. We're alive. We're alive. <laughs> Don't say nothing. Don't say nothing. Don't say nothing. <laughs> Look at all these, all these boxes. Okay, so that's what's going on in Fulton County. Okay, Fulton okay. Registration. Sir, can I have some work? It's been 30 minutes. 30 minutes? Uh-huh. I've been missing for work days. 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 What'd you say? So I've been so missing, I've been missing work, work. 10 days, 10 days, but we got 30, got 30, <laughs> right. 30 minutes. Right. It's been 30 minutes. You better give me some work. Okay. I'm back and I'm ready to work. She even says that I'm ready to work y'all. <laughs> but fine. I come to work y'all and they talk about me. Oh, they talk about me. Oh. So here's my first, one. who is they, they talk about her. Why? Can I say, can I say it? Go ahead. There's feedback. There's feedback. Oh, is there? Hold on. Oops, oops. Wait, wait. Just do that. Go ahead. Yeah, it's muted on the screen. Because she's a nigga, okay? And this is what niggas do. They go to work <laughs> when they feel like it. They go act however they want, right? And they, they demand you give them work because it's been 30 minutes, even though I've been missing for 10 days, okay? This is what happens. When you bring niggas to the election process, I'm going to go live. Don't tell nobody, though. Don't, don't tell nobody that I'm live, even though I'm on my phone on Facebook. <laughs> don't tell nobody. Big roly-poly. I'm sorry. And that's mass. You can't even breathe. <sighs> <laughs> Oh my God, I'm dying. I'm getting hot listening to this. I, yeah, but you know what I was thinking? Because this is how my nosy mind works is I was just like, what kind of setup you got here? Okay, that you could just show up after 10 days, be gone for 10 days. You coming in on your phone, you telling people, go, go get me some work. Like you running, you're like, you're the one running the ship there. And I'm thinking in my head, was she already told like from the beginning, like, hey, Ruby, Lady Ruby, as she likes to call herself, um, we're going to put you here as a poll worker. You could pretty much do whatever you want. Don't worry about other people talking about you. Why were they talking about her? 
And they be talking about me, y'all. I don't know why they be talking about me. Cause, Cause you're always on live walking around the job, girl. Everybody else trying to follow the rules. He's off from this election <laughs> process, but I want my work in less than thirty minutes. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> 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 you kill me. You kill me, okay? This is All right. what we do with the fault. <laughs> <laughs> okay, wait. Let's play. Let's play. Because I told him I didn't want to work. Oh, Dion, thank you. Thank you, <laughs> When I didn't want to work, I took off for 10 days. And I'm back at work. Give me some work. Because I come to work. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Oh, you're going to give me, oh, you just gave me one. God bless you real good. Thank you. I want to give you two. I ain't trying to overwork you. Overwork? Ain't no such thing. I'm going to be here till 7 o'clock. Okay. 7.50. Y'all see all this I got to do? I got to do all this. And all these absentee power. Don't mind, Miss okay. Ruby. Whatever. Don't mind, Miss Only three times. That ain't going to happen. With the red rig on. Rig on. I'm and dead. Gonna happen. I told him. It's... He's. She said, "God bless you, real good." <laughs> say it. Say how you. Cause you do a good Ruby impersonation. How she saying it? <laughs> okay. You put me on the spot. God damn it. <laughs> she said, "God bless you, real good." <laughs> real good. I come to work. I'm gonna be here till about seven, 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 seven thirty, seven fifty. <laughs> Mike up here. Remember that? And all about the Benjamins. <laughs> do, 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 do. Seven fifty. Seven o'clock. Seven o'clock. Seven. Seven. <laughs> that is black privilege. Who goes to work? And I'm gonna tell you when I'm gonna take a break. And you better have my work for me. In 30 minutes, even though I've been in <laughs> <two> days. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, so do you have the next audio? audio. Y'all make sure you read the captions, okay? Because the audio is up and down, like some of it's low, it some of it's high. Just read the captions. Remember, right, this is Miss Ruby on. talking to the popo. <laughs> This is where Suni was like, who is they? She keeps saying they reached out to me to clear their name. 
they helped me to clear my social media. But then she, so we know they isn't necessarily the FBI, right? right? Because the FBI didn't have to clear their name. They had nothing to do with the ballot stuff. Right. Who is they? Who is they? That's is why it I the Democrats? Is it the Democrats and the Republicans? What do we think? I personally think that it is Democrats, but that's because I truly believe the election was stolen. I -hmm. just don't walk around openly declaring it because I have no evidence. Now, Mm -hmm. when we find out who they is, you can best believe SUNY will be singing from the mountaintops as to who they is. But I don't know. (laughs) I don't know. Well, President Trump was really excited because he posted. He nobody knows Sunni. No, no, Ruby. Listen, Ruby knows. Okay. <laughs> like Ten days. Ruby knows. She's not that savvy with social media yet. She was savvy enough to be going live. <laughs> <laughs> she said she was watching. Ruby, but don't tell she, nobody. She was watching different church services. What did that have to do with anything? She wanted people to know she was watching church services. <laughs> she said, if I put this in there, I'm not going to I'm gonna be less, less <laughs> likely for them to think I'm guilty because I was watching church. That's why I have my phone in. I wasn't recording nothing. I was watching, so, I was watching past TDJs. So that, so, so do you think that. Okay, so this is where I'm confused. Like, is is this really, in fact, after? Or is this, like, immediately after? Because she's saying everything they said to cover themselves mm-hmm. wasn't true. So I, that's where I'm so confused on the timeline. And was this there, was only, there was only one specific side covering their tails. Um, in my opinion, with this mm-hmm. election. I can't mm-hmm. say that I saw... I didn't see anything from Republicans and I'm not saying that I'm not saying that they are innocent, but I am saying she cannot be talking about Republicans because I don't remember them ever trying to cover anything up. Now I could be wrong. Tell me if I'm wrong, but what did Republicans try to cover up? Well, they didn't try to cover anything up. Yeah, I guess you're right. But but that doesn't say, like, who's to say there weren't any Republicans involved. You know, like rhinos, right? Like, people who are basically rhinos who look like they're for us, but they're not. They're working with the other side. I mean, yeah. she wouldn't know that, but I'm saying. You know what I mean? Like, in her mind, she's dealing with the Dems, but I just want to know. I don't know. know, man. This is just far too confusing for my little brain right now. It's just far too confusing. It really is, but like the whole reason why we wanted to bring it up here was because we were like, this should be like going viral. Like people should be talking about this. And the fact that President Trump put it on his true social and we haven't seen more people talking about it and questioning who is they? Like the news should be saying, who is they? Who is they? Project Veritas should be figuring that out. Somebody. Go take somebody to lunch. Go get Ruby. You know Ruby. She be breathing heavy. She wants she want to eat. <laughs> All right, y'all. I'm going to see y'all in a bit. <laughs> I got to go, y'all. I ain't been here in 10 days, and they've been making me wait 30 minutes for this goddamn work. <laughs> Dude. Oh, I can't. And did you see I, when I, they I went in front of seven o'clock? <laughs> seven. Did you see when they went in front of Congress? Like, the daughter had her nails done. Like, she looked like With that her picture. butterfly you know, ass love. <laughs> First of all, that picture right there, like, it doesn't do it justice, okay? Because they look so distraught right there. But Ruby was sitting behind her daughter as her daughter was, like, sitting at the table, just looking very, you know, again, she had her tarantula eyelashes. She got, she had her nails did. Ruby's sitting behind her, like, but when Ruby testified, oh, Lord, she had on a purple wig. I was like... You're doing the most. I mean, you see, see, you now, now when I say the truth about, you know, ninjas, oh, don't, don't say that, Suni. Don't call them that. No, they are ninjas. (laughs) This is not right. We shouldn't have to, you know, they shouldn't represent us. (laughs) I'm just saying. 
why you got to represent me? Why can I can I ask something real? Like this is a real question. Mm -hmm. Why is it when black folks get anywhere near politics, they always doing some stuff? (laughs) They doing the most. (laughs) Judy Judy asked, "Who was the one recording them hide the totes under the table?" So Judy, all the recordings of that were from the internal cameras of that building. Yes. Yeah. Possum's gonna call me. A, I'm already a coon. I got a coon award. Matter of fact, since we're on the coon awards and we're talking about uh, people keep bringing up Mitch and them, Mitch gave me a coon award for the year, and I felt so honored to get that award. And I think anybody who got the coon award this year, you should feel honored. I was like, that's low key a good idea. You gave me a coon award. Let's go. Coon Shout coon out to award. Mitch. Like coon award. Yeah. I I got award. from said because said did his own awards. You got an award from said too. What else did you you got from said? You got... I fell in every single category, but he said I have to limit you because I'm biased, right? And said gave me sexy conservative, he did. <laughs> sexy, yeah. Even Which... though we all knew who he was talking about, I can't I can't say her name on here. I'm like, my guy. We all know you're crushing my mo. It's okay. <laughs> Just go ahead and say your name. Yeah. <laughs> But he, but he, yeah, he, but he, he was just being respectful, which I, I appreciate that. But then he posted it on his story and I reposted it. I was like, Hey, sexy conservative. Oh my goodness. I love it. I honorably accept the award said. I just want to say to all my haters out there. <laughs> <laughs> Valkalise. Valkalise. This is what Ruby sound like when she said, I'm going to be here till seven o'clock. Look. <laughs> oh, 750. 7.50. We're gonna get copyrighted. <laughs> I sliced it. <laughs> you sliced that 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 big that quick? Listen, I'm a whiz over here behind the scenes. Look at this. Lopez, most hurt man of the year. Yes, Lopez did get the most hurt man. He got, he really he got did? most likely to hate women. Yes, he got most likely to hate women. And he got Dang. all four categories, including honorable mention. That was from Mitch's award? No, that was from Sed's award show. Oh, how did I, how come y'all didn't tag me on these award shows or was I asleep? Probably I did. Asleep. I sent you a clip of it. That you sent me the clip, show. but I'm saying when it was live, I wanted to be oh. in live. But I was probably already in bed. Yeah, she's. You go to bed at odd really? hours. I will say that. Like who? Who the early. freak goes to bed at eight o'clock? My kids aren't I, even sleep at eight o'clock. I do. I love my sleep. What do you like? What do you do at seven o'clock? Are, like, aren't you supposed to be? I mean, eight o'clock. <clears throat> eight o'clock is when this house comes alive for adults. No, not here. I mean, like we cut. We, you know, I cook dinner. Um. And then clean up, you know, feed the animals, walk the dogs. Yeah. And then I'm tired because I wake up early. I wake up early. You know what I mean? I get up, I get up when the money gets up, okay? Yeah. When the money goes to sleep, I go to sleep. The market, <laughs> the market ain't open at no nine o'clock. <laughs> I just okay? said it's not open. It okay. ain't open. Okay. But I get up when the money gets up. That's when Mo gets up. Oh my goodness. You feel me? Well, listen. Ruby leaves at seven, seven o'clock. Seven, okay. Miss Ruby. I'm you be better address her. It's Miss Ruby. Miss Ruby, don't leave till seven o'clock. <laughs> Shh, don't tell nobody. <laughs> do you, you do the. Mm. 
So, so that's Travion. That's Travion talking. Maybe it's a cover up. You know, I that's Travion. And I'm going to tell you guys a little interesting fact about Travion. <laughs> this is going to blow everybody's mind in the chat. What? I, I don't. Travion, I, I believe, is former Kanye West publicist. She is Kanye West's former publicist. Yeah, that's who Travion is, and Travion is the woman you just heard in that last clip. And let me tell you something, Suni and I, you know, out more me than Suni, but like I sometimes talk to her. She's a really, really great, smart woman. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know her, know her like deep, deep, but what I what conversations I have had with her online, um, she's very smart, very intelligent. So I just think it's interesting her involvement um, yeah, and it how it all ties. I think it's just interesting the Yay connection. <laughs> all this is crazy. Could they be the Jews? Put a one in the chat if Yay if they is the Jews. I was trying to get us canceled. <laughs> Should we get us canceled, y'all? Say it in, say it in Ruby's voice. <laughs> <laughs> listen, listen, don't tell nobody. Shh, Mo trying to get us canceled out here. But don't tell nobody because I'm going to be dead. I'm going to be here until about one o'clock. <laughs> Dude, I have a Ruby wig too. I have a Ruby wig. <laughs> Don't tell nobody. Fabian, <laughs> <laughs> Fabian's is, is like you. He said, "But who is they? Who is they? That is super important here. Listen, I want to go scream this from the rooftops. I really do, but I can't because I don't know who they is." Wait, I love our viewers. Did I even say let's vote? Put a one in the chat if you think it was a juice. Did I say that, I don't or know. did they just automatically do that on their own? I or I already <laughs> forgot what I just said. But you know what? I love y'all. Y'all y'all created a poll in your head and you're like, one, it was the Jews. Hey, look, I think I did. How you gonna get five on your day off? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I did. I did ask. I did ask. See, I got what what's that brain thing that football players yeah, get? Brain brain. Oh, no, you did not say the CTE. CPD? CTE. CPE, yeah. what? CPD, that sounds like a strand of, of, of some tree. What is that? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get some CPD, oh y'all. But don't tell nobody because I'm going to be here until about 11. <laughs> <laughs> Can you please every day just call me and just with that voice? Can you just leave no, me random No, crazy. What? <laughs> no, while I'm, sleep while I'm sleeping, can you just leave me random messages? Okay, that's cool. I can do that. Okay. I'm like, you know what? You should have never told me that because now I'm gonna annoy the fuck out of you. <laughs> <laughs> Mo got, <laughs> Sean said Mo got that CBD blonde moment. Y'all are haters, man. I didn't hey. even say blonde, by the way. I said boomer. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you look at I Check heard you. Look, Check the she, roots. You just showed how much of a boomer you were because I didn't even say blonde. I heard what you said. You said blonde, and I'm like <laughs> Hey, they both start with me. <laughs> hey, speaking of C CTE, shout out to Jamar Hamlin, who is going to be making a full recovery. Looks like a full recovery um, from his crazy, horrific um, injury yeah. on the field. Like, I will say this, uh, <laughs> you know, I really think it has to do with a certain something. A lot of people disagree and they're like, oh, it's oh, just, yeah. you know, it was a hard hit. But there's been a lot of back and forth on the Internet about it. Um, I agree. It does not matter. The fact that people are getting ugly with one another over this is just ridiculous. What matters is yeah. that this is a young man who had his entire life still ahead of him. And I I'm just happy to see. I really love that everybody came together. Everybody came together to pray for him. Uh, I think he's like up to seven million dollars or so something like that in his um, twenty five now. Oh, really? Yeah, like he raised. Uh, it's the foundation charity? for kids. He has yeah. a toy, you know, like a toy foundation for kids. Yeah, and he raised millions of dollars. Like people who weren't even like he got. Watching. I think it's up to twenty five million for um 
the toy drive that he was doing. I, was, I know what you're talking about. I'm talking about that. Yeah. Yeah. He's got the, I guess the tube is out of his throat. Um, and he's talking and breathing on his own. Um, and they expect him to make a full recovery, whether or not he's going to be back to playing football anytime soon. We don't know. Um, but I'm sure that they'll probably do interviews with him and all this other stuff. Yeah. So it's 5.5 million. Praise the Lord. Within the first 24 hours after his injury. And that number is actually still going. So it'll be crazy. You you know, you know what? And I'm not going to. I'm not, I'm not trying to rain on what he's doing because I think what he's doing is, is freaking amazing, right? Mm-hmm. But what bothers me, what really bothers me is that this young man was doing this drive before he had this tragic event happen to him. And he only had 2.5, he only had $2,000. 2, mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, that's only 2000 And it took him having to have a traumatic event on TV, possibly almost dying, never having his life the same again for Americans to donate to a toy drive. Like why does something point. tragic have to happen for people to get up and be like, Oh, I want to support. And we, life is short. Y'all you ever notice that? Why, why, yeah. do, why do we always wait until something bad happens to recognize what point. we should be grateful for or That's even to great... just the small things to help? Yeah. Leave it to Sudi to bring up stuff that I never think about. Cause that is a really good point. It, it's it's a great thing that they've raised that much now, but you're right. Like it's pitiful that he has the platform he has, and I'm sure that exactly. he's been posting about this. And you know, people don't. clearly look at these graphics. They're not making this. They're not making this type of graphic for a player that's on the bench, not mm-hmm. doing anything. He's clearly a performer. I watched yeah. him a few times in clips, uh, some old plays. Of course, I'm not a fan of his. I don't know who he is, but I think it's pretty crappy that it, it takes something like that. For people to donate toys, bro. Like, come on. Like, yeah. You got millions out of nowhere. Mm-hmm. This is the ultimate virtue signal. Sorry, I'm calling you people out. It I really sure is. am. Sorry. I cannot wait to hear him talk, though, because I really want to know, you know, does he remember the incident? Do you, th- you know what? I wonder does if I think show it's, this. Does he think it's the clot shot? You know? All I'm going to say. And I posted this on, I think I posted it on Instagram and um, Facebook. Mm -hmm. I said, I think it is absolutely absurd for people to be going out of their way, calling people conspiracy theorists and you're a sheep and not everything is the, you know, the clot, the clot juice. Why are we ignoring the fact that the NFL forced these players to get the clot juice Mm -hmm. like forced okay it wasn't a choice actually they had a choice but i also understand why some of those choices weren't utilized i'm just saying it's my understanding too that the buffalo bills in particular as a team fought back against the clot shots as long as they possibly could but then the nfl started to hit them with some pretty hefty fines um but you know Another thing I'm really curious about is I have seen a few, you know, pretty high profile athletes make comments like in the initial stages of all this going on. And all of a sudden it went really quiet. Like Des Bryant had posted something and he was like, and what he said was amazing. I mean, I agreed with it. He said something to the effect of, you know what? People forget that we're human beings. We're not just out there to just you know, play football and and hurt ourselves and just, you know, be these machines like we're human beings and people yeah. forget that, um, yeah. which I thought was a really great thing to say. But then all of a sudden, like the commentary from athletes just went radio silent. And I was like, are they being told, shut up? Maybe or you're going to put yourself in a bad place because Maybe. I I really think that if these athletes could speak out and say what they really think. Oh, they would. Oh, yeah. It's that morality clause. It's that they signed Mm -hmm. a morality clause and they also signed a clause to be silent on certain things. You don't speak on certain stuff. Right. The NFL needs to have a squeaky clean, very squeaky clean image, even though they don't. Like the NFL has been known to have shady business going on. Now, I'm not going to say this because YouTube will definitely try to snatch this video down. But there is another player who suddenly died. 
Okay. And I'm going to leave it there. Mm-hmm. Suddenly that, and it's not even just the NFL. We've been seeing this suddenly happen over in other countries. If you watch the suddenly movie, you saw all the athletes that were just dropping. There is, there is, I don't believe in coincidences. No. There is no reason to have myocarditis plastered all over New York City and California. Why are heart specialists popping up? For what? Right. For what? Why don't people ask those questions? I don't believe in calling people conspiracy theories. These are plausible scenarios that a lot of people are coming up with. It's plausible. I'm glad if it is indeed the clot juice, I'm glad he survived it straight up. I am too. Straight up. I am too. You know what I think is sickening though in relation to the athlete that you just posted about or that you just yeah. showed that had made that comment that he was very much pro clot shot. Yeah. Um, you know, I, I hate that people are using him and his beliefs on the whole thing to say, oh, you know, this guy was pro whatever, almost insinuating like he deserved it. Right. Like, I think that's disgusting. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's disgusting um, to tell you the truth, but shout out to Candace Owens because when everybody was riding the wave of it was a hard hit, it's a pretty, you know, they take hits like that all the time, even though there were doctors coming out going, you know what, even this like whatever cordis that they were saying it was, is not even a plausible thing because of this, yeah. this, and this, like, right. Candace, Candace had posted on her Instagram and she said, every athlete that got the clot shot is at a heightened risk for a heart attack, gutless and foolish not to admit it at this point. Thank you. Yep. The reason, look, the media and the NFL are doing crazy damage control. Mm -hmm. I was thinking this the other day before we, before we talked on um, the topics we were going to discuss, why is the NFL why, why, like, I get it. Oh, he made his first phone call. Like, bro, mm -hmm. let that man chill. Why does he need to be plastered all over the, the TV for right now? Why mm -hmm. is everyone solely focusing on this? Well, he got hit in a specific place in his chest and it did this to his heart. When we have seen, we've seen Antonio Brown get freaking wrecked. We've seen Cam Newton get wrecked on this field. Right. We've seen right. so many players get wrecked, chest shots, head shots. None of them ever did something like this. So you're expecting all of us to believe this rare occurrence after two years of athletes increasing in heart damage and heart issues, children, boys, sorry, it's not happening. Yeah. You're foolish. I mean, look, me and Kyle debated this. Well, he got mm -hmm. hit a certain way. I'm like, are you really going to sit here and believe this? But did you hear the doctor that like, or there was one doctor that said you literally would have had to hit the chest in a very specific spot within a third of a millisecond of the heart's like rhythm. There's like a certain point in the heart's rhythm where in order to enact this, this yeah. condition that they were blaming it on would have had to happen in this little tiny window. Here's red pill. Um, she could probably make sense of what I'm saying. But in this little tiny window, that would have had to happen, which was like a very, very slim chance. So just I saying. don't know. Consider other things, y'all. Don't just fall on one. And, and, and even especially when the news is pushing a specific narrative, please, we all got proven right these last two years when it came to the clot juice mm -hmm. and the vid all together. So don't doubt your own two eyes because that's what people want you to do. Yeah. Stop calling people conspiracy theorists. I've seen a lot of conservatives do that. You don't know what's. Listen, when people did this with a. You know who Gangster Boo is, right? From 3 Six Mafia? Oh, yeah. Because mm -hmm. she passed away from an overdose. I don't know if you mm -hmm. knew that. Yeah, I did hear about that. She probably. Look, she probably got that shot, but don't tell nobody because <laughs> I'm leaving here at 750. Gangsta, 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 gangsta boo got the clot juice. What does you leaving here at 7 30 have to do with that? Crazy. Because girl. I'm I'm gonna be here till seven o'clock. <laughs> gangsta boo loved cocaine a little bit too much. All right. People need I to stop it. acting like she wasn't <laughs> loving it a little bit too much and she ended up overdosing. Um prayers to her family, prayers to her. But 
I'm done with the games and playing, man. Yeah. Gosh. I, you know, and I, again, I find it interesting and, and this is not any hate against, you know, our friends that do this also and comment on this stuff because there's no hate and I don't want you guys to go on following people because they're oh, yeah, disagreeing with us. Right. But I always find it interesting when your favorite social media influencer has made countless videos about the clot shot and how suspicious <laughs> it is and how all these weird deaths are happening. And then all of a sudden. They're coming out and they're like, let's not jump to conclusions. I'm like, what? See, trust me and Sudi, because we stay on the conclusions train. Okay. It's no longer, it's, you can no longer call us conspiracy theory theorists anymore because this is not a conspiracy. There's been way too much evidence to the contrary that the clot shot is no bueno. Okay. Exactly. And, you know, um, what was I going to say? See, it just, and I didn't even get the, the clot shot and my brain is, you know, whatever. Oh, somebody put in the comments, how come old people aren't dying? Well, they are. It's just, it's being marked as a death due to old age, right? An old person dies. You don't question it. Remember Sean Connery died. There's been plenty of people that are old that died and they all were, you know, they had the clot, the clot shot. Are you talking Sue? I didn't realize that I was muted. I'm sorry. What what is what is happening? <laughs> oh, okay, I'm back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I can't help it, man. I'm feeling goofy today. I'm feeling goofy. <laughs> what you, you say? No, I think I think what happened was is our skit at the beginning of this video got your little acting bug going, and see that's how it happens. <laughs> And now I love, hey, if you want to, whenever you want to, you feel like you need to channel Miss Ruby, channel Ms. her. Ruby. Okay, I'll do that. I'm going to bring Ruby up in a lot of right. shows. Ruby will come up when the sunglasses come out. And I'm going to do this real quick. All right. And I'm going to say, shh, y'all don't tell nobody. <laughs> That's how y'all know it's coming. <laughs> <laughs> uh can we talk about someone else who's old and needs to sit down and have a few uh, Ben Gay baths? Can we? I wish this man would drink a couple of Folgers in the morning. I really who, wish he would. Who are we talking? Oh my God, who are we talking about? Trump. Trump has been getting on my nerves. I want him to put truth so... Trump, listen. <clears throat> listen to Ruby Trump. Listen to Ruby. Ruby, speak listen. to Trump. I've been gone for 10 days, Trump, but I'm back. Put the phone down. <laughs> don't don't talk about. Listen, <laughs> I gotta pull a tweet up. Hold on. When I pull a tweet up, it'll be better. <laughs> they are among the most honest <laughs> human beings on earth. I don't frankly have time for total political correctness, and this country doesn't have time either. That's right, Ruby. Huge. <laughs> Where's my Trump post? See, Facebook hides my stuff, man. Oh, was that your Trump impersonation? Huge. It's going to be huge. <laughs> really big. Dude, my son, God, I wish he was still up. He does such a good Trump impression. <laughs> I still want to hear it. He sometimes, sometimes talks to me like Trump. And he's like, <laughs> and he's like, what does he say? Like sometimes I'll be like, Ev, I'm like, you gotta you gotta get a jacket. It's cold outside. And he's like, I've consulted with the Eskimos <laughs> in Alaska. They're very good people. Like the way he does it is so much better, but he's like, they're very good, very intelligent people. And they have told me not to worry about the temperature. <laughs> <laughs> well, some of them, not all of them, because they're not all sending their best. All right. They're not all sending their best. <laughs> hey, you know what? Let's break up the monotony. We've been talking about a lot of kind of thick, heavy topics. Um, again, prayers to Demar Hamlin I'm and the NFL cool. player who lost his life. I'm sorry to your family. Yeah. Um, I hope you guys stop taking the clock juice and listen and to the conspiracy theorists. It's not the Kool Aid. It is not Kool Aid. It's just is that red water. It's crystal oh, light. Dang. Never mind. Crystal I light. thought it was red flavor. Mm -hmm. so i was really getting into debates with a lot of people on this subject i don't know if you got into any debates um all week but 
Trump posted this asinine post on social media, and I really wish he would just put the phone down. (laughs) Put it down, Trump. Put it down. I feel like I need to walk into my, you know how you walk in on your kids and you scare the fuck out of them and they're like, Trump, I'm going to come in Trump's office. (laughs) <laughs> wait you remember the, the the wayne brothers and um don't be drinking uh what is it called don't be a menace while drinking Ju- your juice in the hood while drinking you your juice in the hood okay. yeah mm-hmm. you no know, when the baby's in the in the crib and he says message that's what i <laughs> yeah. feel like doing the trope <laughs> get your ass off social media put it down <laughs> that's what i want to tell him put it down so trump is once again not taking accountability for his sh- all right And he says, it wasn't my fault that the Republicans didn't live up to the expectations in the midterms, which I agree with him partly. I was 233 uh, and 20. I'm assuming he means his picks, but your picks are effing horrible. Who cares if they won? Okay. Terrible. Um, It was the abortion issue poorly handled by many Republicans, especially those that firmly insist on no exceptions, even in the case of rape, incest or life of mother that lost large numbers of voters. Also the people that pushed so hard for decades against abortion got their wish from the U S Supreme court, just plain disappeared, not to be seen again. Plus Mitch is stupid dollars. Uh, McConnell, Mitch McConnell, stupid ass is what he's saying. Plus Mitch is stupid ass. That's what he's saying. But where is the a, well, what the fuck does that say? That says just, dollar he, sign apostrophe he's S's. He's old. <laughs> Put it down. I was smack. I was smack the shit out of Trump's hand. Put that <laughs> motherfucking phone down. Get off the internet. <laughs> Damn. First of all, can we can we please talk about Roe v. Wade on some real shit? I know we didn't get to talk about it on Truth to Such a Free. Can we please just talk about Roe v. Wade on some real shit? Go just ahead. real quick. Hit me with it. Hit me with it, Ruby. Why why are we acting like this was a win? I've been gone for 10 days. <laughs> it sounds so good in her voice. <gasps> I'm sitting here for 30 minutes waiting. Listen, there was no win or loss for conservatives. What happened was the Supreme Court did its job. They're supposed mm. to vote on things like this. Mm-hmm. Not one Republican candidate outside of Texas went all the way on abortion. They put a six week ban in place mm-hmm. because women get abortions within the first 12 weeks. If you look at any other state, 14 weeks. Of course, California, Cal- it's over for you. It's over mm-hmm. for you. Mm-hmm. But all these, like you're blaming abortion, right? Republicans support abortions. So right. what are you, this is what I mean. Trump you supports are them. He does. And I have a clip. Yeah. I'll play it in a minute. Yeah. Republicans aren't opposed to abortions, but you know who, you know who are, you know, the people who are, you ready? Ready. Me? So I lost you the midterm. Are mm-hmm. you fucking kidding me? Mm-hmm. I don't think people read Trump in his post and actually decode what this nigga saying. <laughs> Republicans support abortions they just support abortions in 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 their opinion the right way we should offer exceptions i'm not going to sit here and control you but to Mm -hmm. lie and say this is why they lost the midterms no you lost the midterms because you put two you you put up the most ridiculous black man ever who can't talk okay Mm -hmm. and can't Mm -hmm. formulate the truth to save his life herschel walker against Raphael warnock okay Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you also picked freaking what the what the hell is his name pennsylvania dr oz yeah Dr. you didn't oz. go with kathy oh, barnett who actually Lord. aligned with our with our views you mm-hmm. picked the most asinine picks bro like the candidates you're picking their trash trump yeah shut the f up bro and now he's doing this with with pushing mccarthy now he's doing the same thing with shut mccarthy up, he's, he's, bro. yeah i know he just needs to shut up like if there's ever a time to take his social media away it would be right now <laughs> shut the fuck up but now he's got his own that video but it was a video of trump openly saying i support abortion um for cases of rape less asian only said it so please 
Please, Republicans, constituents, stop pretending like Republicans are against abortion. You're not. The only people who are quote unquote causing a hindrance and making the GOP and Republicans lose are people like me, conservatives that are like, actually, I don't really care about your fake wannabe rights. The Constitution has nothing to do with your privacy in going to get an abortion. I'm sorry. It doesn't work like that. It has nothing but, to do with it. This guy's tone did, deaf. Did anybody notice that he wasn't that outspoken about exceptions to the abortion rule until he now? Wasn't. Because I don't remember him talking about exceptions when he was campaigning and he was saying, you know. I don't either. No. He was acting like he was completely against abortion. Hey, man. All I'm saying is. Trump should put the old, I'm just trying to stop cursing, bro, but put the damn phone down. Somebody needs to take his phone. <laughs> Melania, take his phone. Give him some head, cook him some meal. I don't know what you got to do, but you need to do something over there. Because this man, this old man is mean. He's becoming mean and cantankerous. You just sit on the internet and bitch. I don't remember him being like this. Mm -hmm. Am I wrong? People in the, in the audience, tell me, am I tripping? Was Trump like this? Right. No, I don't remember that. I want to I want to address I want to address this comment not even during incest because I will say me personally um and I and I am somebody who is against abortion, but this particular situation like in a situation where a father is molesting his daughter, right, and he gets her pregnant, this is sometimes where I struggle. I don't struggle so much in instances of just like a random rape happening, you know, because I believe a mother can give the the child up for adoption. Mm -hmm. But for some reason, this particular one, and maybe you can help me work through it, just bothers me. Incest? Yeah. Well, I'm not opposed to a woman, or not even a woman. I'm not opposed to that specific scenario because there's there's a philosophical argument and it's called causal obligation and if you guys are bored and you want you like debate go listen to it so what, what it's saying is if this woman did not cause herself to be pregnant which is engaging in consensual sex then should she re be responsible or be obligated to have this child and i think that that's a great argument because it kind of you're allowed to murder and instances of self-defense, you are. Does that mean mm -hmm. murder is right? No. Am I agreeing with abortion? No. But I'm also going to be sensible to say incest is a bad thing, bro. Now, I think you're doing more trauma to the child by giving them an abortion, mm -hmm. just being honest. But when you look, when you listen to philosophical debates, it doesn't like warm your heart to abortion, but it says, okay, causal obligation. Well, this child didn't get herself pregnant and abusing herself so should she have that ability taken away from her i'm gonna say no because these are rare rare occurrences where it happens and i i think you i think americans are very naive when it comes to this conversation mm -hmm. molestation rape is very rampant for, for two people on the screen to have gone through it, and we're in two different eras, we grew up in two different time periods, that should let you know that there is something wrong. This is very common. Like, let's be real about it. It is common. Now, we don't hear about it. They don't report it. Of course, no rapist is going to go take their child victim to the hospital and say, this kid needs an abortion. So no, it's not really something that's in the news. But let's not act like rape molestation and incest is not going on in families when we talk about child trafficking 24 7 bro like let's not please let's not do that yeah i was trying to see like from a biblical standpoint what the bible says about i mean it says stuff about incest um in several of the chapters um but it doesn't like unless you know i i don't see anything like specifically talking about what the consequence of incest or like, does it talk about any stories in the Bible where there was incest and yeah. a pregnancy resulted in it? Do you know? No, I don't. Mm -hmm. I have no clue. I would have to sit there and uh, look into it. And we're talking about it because 
there is no one having this very nuanced conversation. Everyone is trying to appeal to their audience. Everyone knows where I stand. I don't have to sit here and prove where I stand on abortion. I don't believe in it. I think it should be criminalized, but I live in the real world and I have to be practical. I can't Mm. just walk around and think I'm going to have it my way. And that's the issue with this side. I'm not bending on my morals, not breaking, but I'm not going to pretend like they're not going to offer these services for victims of rape and incest. That's stupid. You're setting yourself mm-hmm. up for failure. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And no, not all baby, like the, it's, it's a possibility that there's, you know, a deformation or some type of issue with the pregnancy when you have incest, but not all the time. That doesn't happen all the time. You could have yeah. a perfectly healthy baby out of it, out of an incest situation. Yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah. Unfortunately. But I I just feel like no one is having that conversation. What I just went into. I don't feel like a lot of people are having it because they're trying to appeal more like appeal to your audience, bro. Like who cares at the end of the day? Tell the truth. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tell the truth. Yeah, I'd be interested to hear what Bryson says about that specific thing, incest. I think Bryson is just doesn't matter. He's cut and dry about it. Yeah. And I used to, I used well, to be that way. I but was, I mean, I it's exactly that way. It seems like the Bible is cut and dry. The Bible is it. very cut and dry. Yeah. I There's mean, the no Bible spilling is. of innocent blood, period. Mm-hmm. There's, no, there's no spilling of it. But we live in a worldly society. That's why I said I'm not going to sit here and pretend like they're going to outlaw abortion. I mm-hmm. wish we can go back to that time period where women weren't allowed to do this. And this was completely, completely illegal. Mm-hmm. But... We don't live in that society, unfortunately. Yeah. (laughs) Unfortunately, we don't live there. Yeah. That's true. How do we deal with reality? How do we do it? That's a great, it's a great debate to have. It is. Not not a debate, but a discussion, a great discussion to have. Because I think a lot of people have these thoughts about these things and struggle with this particular issue because of, of, of these, you know, instances yeah (sighs) since we're on this topic of uh abortion and i brought up florida everyone knows i'm like just not a fan of ron de sanctimonious shout out to trump for coming up with that that was low-key kind of funny Mm -hmm. (laughs) um ron de sanctimonious ron DeSantis calls for an investigation um for he calls for an investigation for the clot shot manufacturers um, on the basis of wrongdoing. Now, Mo shared a clip in her stories, which I shared too, of Ron DeSantis openly supporting the jab. And this is probably going to prove me right again. Get ready because I'm going to play my Rocky music. Openly saying that the clot juice is saving lives. Um, it's helping. And in fact, if you get it, in fact, if you get it, it definitely lowers your chance of suddenly dying due to the clot juice. Mm-hmm. Now, a year later, he wants to go after them for wrongdoing. Is this another moment where I'm right? You want to know how I'm right? You want to know? Why are Republicans you- that were supporting the jab distancing themselves? Why do you think that is? Why do I think they're distancing themselves? Yeah. Because uh, it's getting harder and harder to <laughs> to defend it. It's getting harder and harder. Shady. Come on. Come on with it, Ruby. Ready. <clears throat> listen. Ready. Listen. Don't tell nobody <laughs> that shit. They about to flip it on Trump. The sanctimonious, the sanctimonious Ron over here. Hey, listen, I got, I got to leave at seven o'clock. They gonna flip it on Trump. <laughs> Shh, don't tell nobody. I love how you said. Shh, listen, I gotta leave it about seven o'clock. <laughs> I love it. This is by far we need a whole Ruby segment, <laughs> bro. They're going to You're flip genius. it on Trump. You're a genius. You know what? You are genius. If if he runs, or if anybody really runs against trump this is going to be something that comes up and, and you it's know going to bite him in the ass it's, thank you thank you 
I keep t- I kept telling people, bro, you might not want to shut up. You might mm. want to open your mouth and tell him to shut up. Right. Trump, you better come out right now and admit you were wrong, bro. You better admit you only said that because you were making money off of it. Hey, come on now. You heard it here stuff. first, somewhere in the middle. Okay. Somewhere in the middle. Oh, shit, They're the going to thing. flip. We're going to get to that too. We're, that's our next topic. They're going to flip this against Trump and we will have another moment of Sunni was right. And the Rocky music will come out. And so will Ruby. Okay. okay. Because listen here, shh, don't tell nobody. <laughs> Sunni was right. <laughs> get it, Ruby. <laughs> don't get it, nobody. girl. Don't tell nobody. Don't I know was nobody. right. They're going to flip <laughs> this on Trump. And he's not even paying attention. I'm sorry. I'm going to break it to you here first as well. I look at Ron DeSantis as controlled opposition. There is good reason for Democrats to be all chummy chummy and cozy and donating money. If you don't wake up and smell the freaking coffee, smell the Folgers. Because Trump ain't doing it either. You better wake up. How many <laughs> votes is this now? Uh, 13. House? 13 rounds, 13. I think. 13. 14. Nine. Sorry. Sorry, 14. 14, 14 times. Listen, her. I personally think this is a great time in American history because you guys get to see who the real leaders, negotiators, all the stuff Liddell talks about. You get to see who's actually doing stuff. They almost started fighting? What? Ooh, they went to blows? <laughs> what? Dang, I want to see that. Do you think so do you think AOC is hiding under a table right now talking about she feels violated? She feels unsafe. I, I, come in and rape. I thought I was going to get raped and I wasn't even in the building. <laughs> oh my god. You weren't even in the building, bro. How are you going to get raped? Shut up. Shut up. Elon says McCarthy oh, should god. be speakers. I don't know why you got Elon Musk is the Antichrist. Okay. <laughs> Stop it. He's an alien. He is. He's not from this world, bro. Something's wrong with that dude. Yeah. Oh, it was 15, Judy said. Okay. Big booty. Big booty. What do you think about the house situation? Because I already gave my thoughts. What do you think about it? I, I'm sick of it. I'm sick of the games these people. Really? Well, no, because you know what? I don't like the games that are being played right now. Like this is no joke. Like, you know, some of these Republicans, like, you know, I don't know. Some people are saying, Oh, you know, they're holding out, but you know what? I started to get annoyed when they were like, when Matt Gates was like, Trump, I nominate Trump. And I'm like, stop fooling around, man. (laughs) First of all, he don't want the job. He wants president. Okay. He ain't going to settle for speaker. Although I think he would be a great speaker. I think he would be Mm -hmm. a great speaker. Um, and he really still could stick it to them as speaker, but don't fool around with the votes because they were, they were interviewing some Republicans on Fox and I forget who it was, but he was talking about, I'm ready to go vote with the Democrats. Yeah. So that's what I'm saying. There's people that are willing to play a shady ass game. And to me, I, I don't like McCarthy, but I would much rather let a rhino in there, then give this up to another Democrat. If all we have is, is McCarthy, then put McCarthy in there. I'm not saying I would vote for him, but I'm just saying I don't want another Democrat in charge. We, we, we can't risk it because we are this close to having another democratic president. If we, if we keep effing around. So if we're going to have a Democrat as the speaker, another Democrat as the president, okay, we have no majority. In the voting, we're screwed. Y'all got to play this smart. You know what they're banking on? They're banking on the new um, representatives that have come in this past election, the midterms. The freshmen, uh-huh. But you know why you can't bank on that. And Liddell made this amazing point. The budget legislation that they just passed mm-hmm. is to be set to be spent from mm-hmm. the time they passed it right. until September of 2023 Mm -hmm. which means 
the incoming candidates who won cannot do anything to stop this ridiculous spending that has come out. They can't. Right. So you essentially just handicapped a bunch of new people that came in to not actually be able to do their job. And I do agree with you. Although I am all for like craziness. I want to watch this. It's like sports to me. You don't want Hakeem Jeffries to be in there because clearly he is really close to Mm -hmm. Nancy, Chuck Schumer, to all those people. I would have loved to see Jim Jordan in there. That so was like, I would have too. Oof. But he, do Why you think they? Jim? Do you think Jim wants the job? I think Jim was like walking around that floor talking about, "Don't you dare vote for me! <laughs> don't you dare put my, my name in that hat!" But I don't know why he would do that. I mean, I think he's amazing. I think he's hold amazing. On, hold on. Uh oh. Hold on. Let's pull this up. Let's pull this up on the live real quick. Okay. Because I'm watching it live. Ooh, we're gonna live stream it. We are. Let's go. <clears throat> McCarthy does not have the vote, 15, 15 speaker vote possible tonight. So this is the 14th. They could be possibly voting the again. The Honorable Jim Jordan of the state of Ohio has received two. Ooh. The, the Honorable Andy Biggs of the state of Arizona received two. No member elect having received a majority of the votes cast, a speaker has not been elected. <laughs> will, will the gentleman repeat his motion? I move the House do now adjourn until noon Monday. Monday? Dude, they be taking the too many breaks. The motion to Y'all need to work through the weekend. All those in favor? Thank you. No. Ooh, they said Let's no go. Way. Let's go. Absolutely not. Get up and vote. The ayes have it. What? All the favor say aye. To adjourn? All those opposed say no. Wow. The eyes don't have it. Thank you. Keep saying no. In the opinion of the chair, the noes have it. Thank you. I ask for the yeas and nays. Madam Clerk, I ask for the yeas and nays. The yeas and nays are requested. Those favoring a vote by yeas and nays will rise. Oh my God. A sufficient number having risen, the yeas and nays are ordered. You said to me on Twitter. I knew this was going to take up. That's why I'm glad we did it last. <laughs> yeah. So while they're voting, I, I will need it. In my opinion. I want to see them get in a fight. This is the government at work. I believe this is how it should be. Clearly. People are interested in voting voting for for McCarthy for a very good reason. Yes. And I agree with that. And I love that. Okay. But at the same time, let's take it serious. You know, that's what I'm saying. There's these people that were throwing out some just crazy shit. Like, come on, dude. Let's take it serious. That's all I'm saying. I I love that there is this, you know, energy behind this to keep this dude out and this dude maybe needs to realize nobody wants him as Speaker of the House and just throw the towel in. Forget right. about it. Send it to right. my... Can you send it to me on Instagram, man? Um, I lost access to my old Twitter. I can't get on it. Or you can follow my new Twitter. It's just SUNY Blinks. At SUNY Blinks. Uh, motion to adjourn. All right. That was quick. So they are... Mo- they are they're adjourning? Uh... No, they're voting now. The nays are winning. There are pe- the 55 people who are not voting. Oh, so they're not doing Because they used to, like, they were calling it out and voting, like, verbally. No. They're not doing that like that anymore? Okay. No, there are uh, 30 minutes remaining for the vote. And right now, 
the nays are winning and there are a lot of Republicans just not voting. Um, as you can see over here. Well, they're going down now. I'll just pause it and we can watch the live count. <laughs> while, you're while you're talking, I'm updating our video real quick so we can get Motion it. Motion. Wait, why are Republicans trying to adjourn? No. Democrats are saying they don't want to adjourn. Republicans are saying they do. <laughs> like what? <laughs> That's not what I heard when they when they did like a an audible vote. Look at the vote. I know I'm seeing it. Well, now it's oh wait, hold on. So you see where it says Democratic and then nay? But are Those the ones are not voting? Democrats. But then there's 62 62 Republicans that haven't voted. What did they go to the bathroom? What the hell? I want to know why they want to adjourn. Like that is my, why do you want to adjourn? You know why? Cause these people take more days off SUNY than anybody I have ever seen in my life. The government, I don't understand it. They already only work like half the year. These are your tax dollars of work people. They should let us vote. They should put an online vote for the American people. No, we say stay, sit your ass back down and let's wrap this up. <laughs> you just sent it to me on uh, Instagram? Hold on, let me look. I don't see it, man. Where'd you Dang. send it to me? There's no way you sent it to me on Instagram. I'm looking now. Put it in the real ones chat. Or did, never mind. Never mind. I got it. I got it. I got it. Yeah, I still don't see it. Put it in the chat. Wow. Come on, Republicans. What the hell? What the freak? They just want to negotiate more deals. Bro. Okay, now, now, now they're voting. I see the, the number going down a little bit. Nope, but there's only 14 Democrats that haven't voted. Now it's going down. See, now they're voting. Fuck, dude, whatever. <sighs> Lazy ass. It looks like they already voted to adjourn from what I'm seeing. But this really? is live? This is live. Yeah, this is live. It's definitely live. Hmm. Did you send it to my Instagram? Yeah, they're probably going to adjourn. Oh, gosh. Come so on, stupid, Republicans. We still got nine like, minutes. Why, Damn. But like, we why? Can... For what? Can you think of a, a reason? Like, why? Why to adjourn? Because they're lazy? Because yeah. they want to go or they want to go and do whatever they got to do this weekend? I want to harder more D. Like, the f mm -hmm. man. Yeah. And then you wonder why people like me freaking exist. Look at this. Why is it so hard to pick a freaking speaker of the house? Why can't leaders do what leaders are supposed to do? Put their egos to the side. Put, like, come on. Fabian adjourn it? means to to call it call it end of the night. Adjourn the meeting. End the meeting. Um, while we're waiting for this vote, can we plug? Do we have a secure a secure like confirmation from him about the interview? Yeah, we do. We do. Okay. We yeah, absolutely do. So you guys may have tuned in last week when we were telling you that we were going to be doing an interview with Mr. Loza Alexander. Let's go, Brandon. Oh, yeah. um, we got confirmation from him that we're going to interview him specifically about his latest YouTube video where he says he wants to get close to Jesus. And he did... Um, clarified to christine he's now he's not leaving the music business now 
He wants to get yeah. closer to Jesus, but he ain't giving up that music business. Okay. So we are going to talk to him and, you know, Sunni and I have been having a lot of conversations about this because we do want to make sure that this is a discussion with Loza like Loza's never had before, because I, I want to say there hasn't been anybody that I can think of. I mean, there's been people that interview him about his let's go Brandon and all this stuff, but there's nobody that's really called him out on his, on his ish, right? Nobody's really called him out on it. And Suni and I want to have a respectful conversation with him, but at the same time, we want to address a few things with him as right. well. Um, but we have to handle it carefully because, because Loza, you know, we don't want him to leave the interview. So it right. should be interesting. It should be interesting. So we're going to do that next Friday. Next Friday. So we're going to be doing crazy promo for this show just because this is something that a conflict that's been going on in the news <laughs> in a conservative media realm and we're media on mm -hmm. this side of the spectrum. So I think it would only be right for us to sit down and talk about it. So be prepared to see his promo because he's putting together his promo and I will be putting together ours. Make sure you share it. Please tune in. Don't be in the comments. I'm asking you this right now. Please don't be in the comments fangirling. Mm -hmm. or picking sides please this is not someone who they're going to be looking at the comments i'm saying you can't look. what i am saying is don't run the guest off okay <laughs> like, not too soon. don't you know who's gonna run him off though bryson he's gonna come in here and be like cap <laughs> is he is he gonna cap. watch because i because because bryson said he didn't want to have anything to do with it so yeah, he didn't want to have anything watch to do with it, it. Is he going to watch it live, though? He probably will. Because he asked me. He's like, did you did you do the interview yet? And I'm like, no, nah, not yet. I think he'll watch it. Well, while we have five minutes uh, for this vote, let me just play really quick some of the, the latest words from Loza that y'all hear uh, on the internet. Now, he titled this video, Bryson Tyson, Cherie, who is the newest ex-girlfriend, Raylene, who is the ex-girlfriend before this one, the ops, the fans, I'm leaving to find Jesus, can't take any more beefs. Okay, that's what he says. Let's remember that Loza said he cannot take any more beefs. So I'm going to play what he says in this video. <laughs> so y'all can remember. get a little sneak peek. So y'all can get a little sneak peek of what we're in for, okay? Dun, dun, dun. Dun, dun, dun. It was good, y'all, man. Um, this video is super important, and I hope I can reach everybody with it. Um. I'm gonna just be straightforward with y'all. And um, this message is extremely, extremely important to me. Right now I'm um, on a mission. I'm on a mission to find Jesus, to find God. More than I've ever been before. More than I've ever been before. And I believe that the Lord has been calling me and I've been stripped naked. I've been crucified. I've been whipped. I've been going through it and I've been fighting to keep this channel, fighting to keep this channel going, to get people to look at these videos, fighting to keep career going and fighting to keep people in my life, fighting for relationships, fighting, 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 fighting. And I've lost so much and I've gotten to the point where I'm like, you know what? It's, it's, it's imperative. It is so important for me right now to let go of everything that I love to find God, to finally. Hey, hey, listen, listen, listen. <laughs> Shh, don't tell nobody. Okay, listen. This happens every time there.
is a song. Wait. Seven o'clock. Seven. Every Friday. Miss Ruby. Ruby out. <laughs> so uh, I'm not gonna play anymore. Y'all can go see that video if you want to go see that video. But he just goes on to say he's ready. He's ready for a change. Uh, we got two more minutes. Um, Jesus. Getting close. We're getting close, y'all. Um. So I, I will I will just say this, okay. In doing my loads of research and going back and, and listening to old videos and whatnot, do you, do you remember that one time that Loza said, Man, I wasn't even gonna say anything, but um I might be dying. You remember that one? <laughs> I might be dying, man. I mean, I got some things going on. <laughs> okay, remember that one? That was number one. I'm gonna bring things up to him now. Then there was a time his mama was dying. Remember that one? Do you yes, remember the time remember. that he couldn't breathe? Yes. Shh. Tell nobody. He was Shh. doing Dr. Sevi treatments. I mean, he listened. Dr. Sevi? What? Dr. When does this shit happen? He, when does that happen? Yeah, dude. He, if, you, if you don't know, dude, Loza's been eating sea moss. Okay. He's been doing all the stuff. See, How Judy remembers it. I missed out before. Because, what? dude, even though did I'm you... not a fan of Loza, this is what he needs to know. I'm gonna come. I'm gonna come and give him some harsh criticism. But he needs to know. I've been watching his live, so I'm not coming from a place of like I don't know what I'm talking about. You know what I mean? I've been watching his lives. Yeah. Shh, don't tell nobody. Saturday nine p.m. Y'all, or oh, seven o'clock. <laughs> but really, it's at now. <laughs> Shh, don't so, tell nobody. Give us a give us a, a a one drop a one in the comments if y'all are gonna tune in for that Loza interview. And when we start sharing the promo for this, we want you guys to share it. He's most definitely gonna share it. And I think somebody said just turn off the comments. No, we're not gonna do that because Loza needs the comments. Okay, so he's going yeah. to invite his followers, and he's going to be looking in the comments for those people. So we cannot. We can't do that. We can't turn off the comments. But we do ask that our viewers, I'm not saying y'all can't get on the petty train, but just let the interview go at least 30 minutes before y'all start in. I'm going to try my best because y'all know I'm a, I'm I'm the captain of the petty train. <laughs> Gosh, sorry. My, my son's teacher just emailed me. I have to respond. Okay, we got 16. 15, the countdown. So 216 Republicans want to adjourn. 212 say no. That's very interesting to me. This is so retarded. This is so goddamn retarded. This is retarded. crazy. I'm sick Here of Here we you. go. Look at They're already packing up their shit. All right, guys. Let's go home for the weekend. Kick up, you know. We'll be back. The Americans can wait. Mm. Is he apologizing? See, why is Matt talking to him? Is he apologizing? All right. We need lip readers. Where are the lip readers? Where are the lip readers for these people? So it says here, Mike Rogers started shouting. Sorry. Hudson had to physically restrain Rogers. Even grabbed him around the mouth to shut him up. Oh, you do? I have the clip. You ready? Okay, play it. Roll the clip.
Yo, I want to know what he said because he put his face over here. He put his hand over his mouth. Did you see that? <laughs> I did. Dang. Oh, my God, dude. The inner nosy person in me is dying to know <laughs> what he said. We need lip readers, people. Where are the lip readers? Where are the lip readers? I want to know what he said, though. Man. Suni, send me, send me that clip because I'm about to slow-mo that shit out and just see what he said the second one was crazy you sent me another one i didn't even see that i didn't even see that one what 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 i want to know Ooh, the juice the shade oh, they should Lord. just sell they should sell tickets to just sit in that room they should i don't, I don't know why they don't allow the public in there Listen, Mo, Mo would be down there like this with binoculars. I'd have oh like listening. Gosh. Listen, I'd be like this hanging over the balcony, like trying to pick up because I got some good mic equipment. <laughs> <laughs> well, we have one thing. We have two things for Mo to react to before we close out the show. We do? I didn't even know this. Oh my God, this is a we surprise. Do. Okay, close your eyes. Actually, no, you ain't got to close your eyes because when it pops up, it's going to pop up. Okay. Are you ready? Drum roll. Oh, wait, let me just let me just close my eyes. Anyways. Shh. Open your eyes. Proud mother perms three year old's daughter's hair and shares video on TikTok, leaving users divided. Where's oh I had the video. I was about to say, I'm like, let me see the video. Where's the video? I had it. Oh, I think three. God. Three's a little young for a perm. It is those too are, young. Those are some harsh ass chemicals. I used to perm my hair back in the day, and it's I used to use like crack. Right, but I used to use uh, what was the little kid one? Um, God, it wasn't dark and lovely. What was it? It was just for me. Just for me. That's right. That's what I used to use when I was little. Yeah. Oh man, I had the video. But I can't find it. Dang, I want to see. See, I'm messing up today. This is my fault. I messed up. Do you know what? They should hey, have it in the, the the link within the website so people can click on it to go watch it. Can you not Google the video? Let me see. Let me see if I can find it really quick. Okay. <laughs> I thought it was ratchet when I first seen it. I'm like, you're down, you're perming her hair? She ain't even got that much hair. What did you perming it for? That's terrible. I don't think, I don't think, you know, I get it. Like, what was the video that I saw? Was it on TikTok or did I send it to you? But the, I see this quite a bit. Like I see, oh, you know what? I don't know if I sent it to you, but it was a dad talking to his son. What did he do? He gave him something, Viagra, or he gave him something to for his son to take. And he was like, yeah, he was like, this is going to get your dick real hard. And he gave Ew. his son that. Yeah. I don't know if I sent that to you. Oh, Is that it right there? Okay, here's the video. I can't make it full screen, so. Mm. She barely got here. Rebuttal for the hate. What is she saying though? Because I didn't. I don't I hear can't anything. We hear it. There's no sound. Did you share the audio? No, I clicked on it. Like I clicked on this video. I did. Share right, the but audio. when you when you shared your screen, did you click share audio? Yeah, I don't hear anything either. Like there's no sound. Oh, okay. I guess Dang. TikTok. Took the sound off. I don't really know why, but see, yeah, because people are asking where can I find the original. Oh, they've gotcha. already censored the crap out of this video. I don't know why, but that mm. sucks. That blind reaction was a little trash. Darn it, guys. Do you have another one? You want me to close my eyes again? Um, I'm sure if I go to my TikTok, I'll find something. Hold on. 
We were going to do a segment like where we just like go on TikTok and just react to random shit like live for you guys. Yeah, I think that'd be fun. Because Suni does reactions all day long. Like this is her thing. And she's always like, you need to get on TikTok. But I don't know how to do this stuff. I don't know how to do these little side by sides and like the reactions like where you come into the screen. I did it once with for Matt Ariza. Yeah, girl, that was too much for me. I couldn't handle it. I was like, I'm stressed out. <laughs> Okay. I don't know if you saw this one. <laughs> okay. Give it to me. <laughs> Why am I so funny, bro? <laughs> Why are you so funny? Yeah, it was funny. I mean, sometimes I go back and look at my old videos and be like, bro, that was funny as shit. Like, <laughs> oh, hunger strike until Kevin McCur that bitch announces a hunger strike. This is like the sex strike. Here we go. Girl, you know, God darn well, you ain't missing no meals to help Kevin McCarthy do nothing. Can we please just observe this madness one more time? Breaking. Representative Kat Kamat just announced a hunger strike. And so Kevin McCarthy is installed as speaker. I need a jet. Okay. <laughs> Repeal the 19. Wait a minute. But did she really say that? Like, there's audio of her really saying it. She stood up and yes. said that? Yes. No bullshit. Dude, the I got a nerd. video for her, though. And what were, other, what were the people's reactions? Why the fuck you lying? Why you always lying? That gets us copyrighted. For real? Yes. Oh my gosh, Lord. bro. Dude. Why are you lying, Kat? You ain't missing no meals. Shut up. But what Look, was how the many reaction from the crowd? What was the reaction from the crowd when she said it? I don't even know. I can't remember. I just know my reaction was freaking hilarious. What's her name? Kat? Kat Kamak. Kat Kamak. Oh, you got to go to go to the, the Ralph retort on Twitter. I'll probably pull it up faster than you. Ready, set, go. Here we go. Ralph? I got that I said Ralph Court. I got it. I already got it. I'm lying. Oh, darn it. I didn't pull it up fast enough. enough. Hey! <laughs> oh. They want us to fight each other. That much has made clear by corn and blankets and alcohol that is coming over there. <laughs> the house is not in order. <laughs> the house is not in order. The clerk would ask all members elect to abide by the established decorum of the house while making nominations. Gentlewoman is recognized. As evidenced by my colleagues' actions. So today I am asking my friends and <laughs> I don't see nothing about that. Was that a fake headline, Suni? No. Are you sure? You heard it. You heard her say yes. her strike. I'll pull it up, bro. Okay. <laughs> Suggests they're drinking House Speaker votes. Let's see. I guess she's speaking all kinds of reckless, man. <laughs> oh, she got a lot of like. I don't see anything about it. Eating? It's been how many days now? How many? How many? So you've been going for fourteen rounds and not eating. We need to go ask her husband if she ate some food. I don't think no. I you got to show me this because I'm not finding this anywhere. Okay. You better be. 
Otherwise, your your uh, reputation. My reputation is what? I, I fact scarred. checked myself live last show. <laughs> scarred. You scarred. Am I scarred? Yep. I can't find the video now. Ah, uh, shit. I call cap. Just joking. Damn. Did I get it wrong, guys? I think she did. I think the TikTok oh. grabbed her and. Oh. Oh. Why are they doing it? Because I specifically typed in Cat K Mac announces hunger strike and nothing's come up. Like that would have come up. You got got. Ruby, shouldn't have missed those. <laughs> you shouldn't have missed those 10 days, girl. Don't tell nobody. Oh, fuck. I can't find it. Whatever. Fact check me live right now. Go ahead. Okay, it says a cat camic on hunger strike. McCarthy vote block, vote block starts cruel joke. Fold into Fact believing Representative Cat Camic is going on a hunger strike until a new Speaker of the House is elected. People, check before you react. Look at this. We just <laughs> fact checks. I think I'm probably. Am I the first person to fact check you? You're technically not fact checking me. No, 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 no. <laughs> Technically, I am. Technically, you just got black checked. Put Technically, a one in the I chat. did. Put a one in the chat as soon as Nobody's going to do it. You want to know why? You want to know why? Because it is team Sunni right here. You... No, no, no. Look at this. This right here just got fact checked. Look at that. She looking all hard with the glasses, but she... somebody got to tell her she got fact checked. Y'all got fooled. So you better delete no, that TikTok. See, they said Sunni. You're, <laughs> you're spreading misinformation. Oh my. No, you did not just spew that dangerous rhetoric. Yeah. No, you you're did spewing. not. Yeah, you're spewing misinformation. <gasps> Dude, I can't wait. No. Listen, I can't wait to clip this and post it all over Instagram that I fact check you live. Like, I'm going to be. That's some street oh cred. That's street cred. I fact check Sunni. Team Mo, let's go. It doesn't say Team Mo. Nice so try. Mo. Whatever, and Ben's. And Ben's. <laughs> okay, hashtag Team Mo if I just fact check Sunni and y'all just thought that was lit. Fine. <laughs> team Mo, Team Mo. Eight, eight, I got eight. fact checked live. Y'all better put I did Team watch Mo in the, the video, chat. Though. I just don't know where it is. Y'all better like, put Team Mo in the chat or I'm off. rage quitting. She ain't rage quitting. Don't don't let listen. Listen. Don't tell nobody. <laughs> Mo is capping. Uh, she said She's internet capping. doesn't count on the streets. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't count. L oh, What do you mean L? Hey That's look. Right. What did what did Kendrick Lamar say? I'ma take the the ownership or the of the losses and the wins. Oh, my mama, that's Be the humble. realest shit. Be humble, bitch. <laughs> Sit down. Exactly. That's what, Ken, did, that's what he said. Did he say that? Kendrick Lamar? No. Who said that? I don't know. I am the most humble person here. Remember who's Should've the square. said slow-mo instead of so-mo. I was combining y'all's names. <laughs> <laughs> Birdman you, said. Because she saw Timo. I think that guy that just because Kate is a huge bitch. <laughs> Probably. She big. she big. I mean, look, I get why he said it. It's satire. And I fell for the satire, right? Because she was complaining about the Democrats eating, which I'm pretty sure he implied that she's going on a hunger strike since she right. about Democrats. I mean, let's be real. She did say something ignorant. Well, not necessarily ignorant, but she did say something. So it's her was fault. Stupid. Yeah. Yeah. It's her fault because they gave basically the. So internet. technically, I didn't get fact checked. No, you did. You did. No, you got fact checked. Uh, I'm excited. Like to end my night on a fact check. Shit. I waited. You're like, really going to end the night like this? You're going to do me like that? For I'm going to get a shirt. Can we create a merch shirt that says I fact check SUNY real time? Absolutely not. No. I'll create that. It'll look real ratchet, but I'll create it. No. No. I am a bad. I'm a sore loser. Okay. That those are things you need to know about me. When I lose, a whole nother person emerges, bro. It's not good. 
You know what I don't appreciate? I don't see enough of y'all saying Timo in the comments. Like y'all are shady. <laughs> no. I'm gonna give my like yin and shout for the acceptance speech. Thank <laughs> you guys for giving me the team SUNY awards. Like, no, I'm kidding. No, dude. I, I got fact checked. You. Listen, I reacted. I thought it was freaking hilarious. Um, I do remember watching the video, and that's my fault. He said, he said I got some L's on tilapia and broccoli. What what L's do I have on tilapia? <laughs> you did it. You what? You told me. Thank you, Salty it's Cat. Man made, and I fact checked you live. Okay, Salty Cat, you get a song just for your support. Salty Cat, Salty Cat. <laughs> what was that from Friends? Why are you? What is the song? You know what I'm talking about? Bro. No. Smelly Cat. She sang the song Smelly Cat. Smelly Cat. That's smelly for white people. Cat. All right. I watch comic I didn't watch Martin, it either, but I remember the Smelly Cat clip. Whatever. What is Smelly Cat? Oh. Uh, Salty uh, Cat. He said Mo taking the L when she's talking about football. Whatever. That's right. Mo has no clue what she's talking about when it comes to football. Like, no clue. Those god awful Bible shades, bro. Bible, you're a loser. Salty cat, nobody <laughs> likes you. You're canceled. Hashtag done. What if Mo was really like this? Could you imagine me on the show with you, bro? Would you would not have a show. You wouldn't have a show. Weekly. You would not have a show with me. Because you get mad. You get mad when Candace talks like a valley girl when she's like, okay, okay, okay. <laughs> Okay, let's just talk about it for like let's just talk about it for a second, okay? <laughs> I <laughs> does she say like that? She does. She does drive me nuts with the like like I'm like, bitch, if you say like again, I'm a scream. You're smart. Like should not be in your vocabulary. Like, I don't know, like, yeah. I just don't like that shit, man. <laughs> I don't. That isn't I'm gonna be real. That does not seem natural for black people to talk like that. Like it just doesn't. I don't even talk like that, and I'm pretty proper. But God damn it, I say ain't and shouldn't and won't. And you, you can't. You know, you know what black people should talk like? What? I hope he's watching. Liddell. <laughs> I like Susu. 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 No, 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 no. Let's get down. Let, let, let's talk about, <laughs> let's talk about the counter move. Okay. Because what we need to do is Susu, Susu. Now listen to me. Listen to me, Susu. Momo, Momo, you just stay right there. I'm going I'm 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 to deal with you in a second, Momo. <laughs> is that not Liddell? It is Liddell. Yeah. It is Liddell. Liddell. Yo, Liddell's funny to listen to in meetings, bro. I'll be cracking up. Dude, this is Bryson. This is Bryson. Hold on. Hold on. Y'all don't know about the Bible. Y'all y'all don't be known about the Bible, okay? Okay. Y'all don't know about the Bible. Are you drinking your water? <laughs> y'all don't know about the Bible. Let me tell you about the Bible. Take your Bibles out if you have them, because 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 I'm going to tell you in a second about the Bible. Okay. Jesus did not say that he supports homosexuality. He didn't say it, bro. He didn't say it. It's cap. It's cap, bro. It's cap. Pull it up. Pull it up. I made a song about it. Pull it up, bro. They got me canceled from the Trump campaign. I was over at Mar-a-Lago all the time. I mean, come on now. Come on, bro. No, 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 no. Cap, cap, cap. Cap, cap, cap. <laughs> Tell me Bryson don't drink his drinks. Hella aggressive. <laughs> he drink it to the side. Full cap. Oh snap, bro! And then he puts the, he puts the cap on like so loud. I'm like, dude, even when he's in his car, <laughs> he puts it on so I, loud. I get I get thirsty when he drinks. <laughs> oh my gosh, bro! Liddell this clearly wasn't in wasn't in the chat because he if he, he would have heard my impersonation. I want to show you guys this, but I'm having a hard time pulling up any of my stuff and it's actually pretty effed up it's driving me a little crazy um what do i do mo look at like, see sudi they love when we get goofy i told you man they love when we get goofy do you guys love it when we get goofy for real they do they think we're hilarious i think we're hilarious are we are we for real or are we not <sighs> we really are 
Bible. Bible, we're cool. Bible, we're so funny. Like, like I called my – I was talking to my cat, Trabby Daddy, Chatty Daddy, and <laughs> – and he told me, legit told me that we were funny. Oh, you said legit. I feel like a lot of people from Wisconsin say legit. Do they? For real. Like, legit? I'd be like, Goofy. can we have another word? Please? <clears throat> Thank you. Show, show the live feed of the votes, Birdman says. And Ben says, Goofy is the move. Is it? Mm-hmm. Really? So you want me to put it? McCarthy oh. is losing what again. Do do? Goofy gang. No, no way. He's losing again. We just finished watching this. I thought. I thought you said they were adjourning. That's what I thought. That's what the vote said. But maybe they were counting those votes that like they did the Biden. Maybe they were counting those votes like the Biden votes. Maybe Thanks. Ruby came in the Carter, room and pulled something Jordan. out from under the table and had more votes. See? because she said it was over and it wasn't over. Wait, while you're watching this, can I go make a urination sample really quick? Yes. I'll be right back. <laughs> the fuck is wrong with this lady? Can I go take a urination sample? <laughs> oh my God. Who talks like that? Can I go take a urination sample? What if I would have said no? Then what? Would you have listened to me if I would have been like, no, you can't go take a pee? No? Bruh. This is really bothering me. I don't know where any of my designs are. What the crap? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Um, oh, shoot. I'm sorry, y'all. I didn't turn the, the volume down. Jeffries. Clark, New York. Jeffries. Cleaver. Jeffries. Klein, McCarthy, Cloud, McCarthy, Clyburn, Jeffries, Clyde, McCarthy, Cohen, Jeffries, Cole, McCarthy, Collins, McCarthy, Comer, McCarthy, Connolly, Jeffries, Correa, Jeffries, Costa, Jeffries, Courtney, Jeffries, Jeffries, Craig, Jeffries, Crane. Present. Present. Crawford. McCarthy. McCarthy. Crenshaw. Crenshaw. McCarthy. You guys want to see my outfit? Crow. Jeffries. Quayar. Jeffries. Jeffries. Curtis. McCarthy. Davids of Kansas. Hakeem Jeffries. Jeffries. Davidson. McCarthy. Davis of Illinois. What? White people can't say black folks' Jeffries. names for crap. I know. Davis of North Carolina. Look at her. There's Margaret Taylor Jeffries. Team Jeffries. Dean of Pennsylvania. Jeffries. She's had so much plastic Deguette. surgery, it's not even funny. Jeffries. Dela Cruz. McCarthy. McCarthy. Thank you, Salty Cat. Delores. Jeffries. Del Bene. Jeffries. Deluzio. Deluzio. What does Jeff it mean when they vote present? Jeff 
Major Lake. It is probably not. The Esposito. McCarthy. McCarthy. Some of these old people look dead as crap. M. Benz, this bodysuit was like violating my soul. I couldn't do it. <laughs> you know how it be sometimes. Donalds. Duarte. McCarthy. Duncan. McCarthy. McCarthy's gonna lose. Dunn of Florida. Yep. McCarthy. Edwards. McCarthy. Elsie. McCarthy. Emmer. McCarthy. Escobar. Jeffries. Eshu. Jeffries. Espoyat. Jeffries. Estes. McCarthy. Evans. Jeffries. Ezel. McCarthy. Fallon. McCarthy. Finstra. McCarthy. That one dude, he's like keeping the tally on his own. McCarthy. <laughs> Because he knows how they do with boats. Yep. McCarthy. Fishbach. Kevin McCarthy. McCarthy. Fitzgerald. McCarthy. Fitzpatrick. Kevin McCarthy. McCarthy. Fleischman. McCarthy. Fletcher. Jeffries. Flood. McCarthy, Foster, Jeffries, Fushi, Jeffries, Fox, McCarthy, Lois Frankel, Jeffries, C. Scott Franklin, McCarthy, Frost, Jeffries, Fry, McCarthy. Fulcher. McCarthy. Gates. Gallagher. McCarthy. Gallego. Jeffries. Garamendi. <coughs> Jeffries, Garbarino, McCarthy, Mike Garcia, McCarthy, Robert Garcia, Jeffries, Jeffries, Garcia of Illinois, Jeffries, Garcia of Texas, Jeffries, Jimenez, McCarthy. Golden of Maine. Jeffries. Jeffries. Goldman of New York. Jeffries. Jeffries. I love the talk about my outfit going on in the, <laughs> in the comments. Gomez. They're talking about your outfit? <laughs> yeah. Tony Gonzalez. Go get a 19 shirt. <laughs> Too bad you couldn't send one to somebody Mrs. to wear here, Gonzalez. considering they've been here for days. <laughs> Virginia. I know, right? Present. I bet you they would get up and vote then. Mm -hmm. Gooden of Texas. McCarthy. Gosar. All Gosar went with McCarthy? The crap? <clears throat> Jeffries. Granger. Granger, McCarthy, Graves of Louisiana, McCarthy of Missouri, McCarthy, Green of Tennessee, McCarthy, 
McCarthy. Green of Georgia, McCarthy, Griffin, McCarthy, Grijalva, Jeffries, Grothman, McCarthy, Guest, Hageman, McCarthy, Harder of California, Jeffries, Harris, McCarthy, Harshbarger, McCarthy, Hayes, Jeffries, Hearn, McCarthy, Higgins of Louisiana, McCarthy, Higgins of New York, Jeffries, Hill, McCarthy, Hines, Jeffries, Henson, McCarthy, Horse, Jeffries, Houchin. No, he's not, Fabian. They're only on the H's. <laughs> they got a lot to go. Houlihan, Jeffries, Hoyer, Jeffries, Hoyle of Oregon, McCarthy, Huffman, Jeffries, Heising, McCarthy, Hunt. McCarthy, Isa, McCarthy, McCarthy, Ivy, Jeffries, Jeffries. Jackson of Illinois, Jeffries. Jeffries, Jackson of North Carolina, Jeffries. Jeffries, Jackson of Texas, Jeffrey McCarthy, McCarthy, Jackson Lee. The Americans are desperate and need for leadership. I'm proud to vote for 18 Jeffries. Jeffries. Jacobs. Jeffries. James. McCarthy. Jayapal. Jeffries. 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 Does that mean they got somebody to flip? Johnson of Georgia. Jeffries. Johnson of Louisiana. McCarthy. Johnson of Ohio. McCarthy. Johnson of South Dakota. Jordan McCarthy, Joyce of Ohio McCarthy, Joyce of Pennsylvania McCarthy, Cam Lauder Dove Jeffries, Captor Jeffries, Kane of New Jersey McCarthy. Keating, Jeffries, Kelly of Illinois, Jeffries, <laughs> Kelly. She said surprise. McCarthy, Kelly of Pennsylvania, 
McCarthy. Connor. Jeffrey. Jeffrey. McCarthy. Kildee. Jeffries. Kylie. McCarthy. Kilmer. Jeffries. Kim of California. McCarthy. Kim of New Jersey. Jeffries. Krishnamurthy. Jeffries. Custer. Jeffries. Kustoff. McCarthy. LaHood. McCarthy. Lalorda. McCarthy. McCarthy. Lamalfa. McCarthy. Lamborn. Blankworthy. Kevin McCarthy. McCarthy. Washington. Jeffries. Larson of Connecticut. Jeffries. McCarthy. McCarthy. The Turner. McCarthy. McCarthy. Lawler. On behalf of the great state of New York, which helped deliver this Republican majority, I'm proud McCarthy, Lee of California, Jeffries, Lee of Florida, McCarthy, Lee of Nevada, Jeffries, Lee of Pennsylvania, Jeffries, Ledger Fernandez, Jeffries, Lesko, McCarthy, Letlow, McCarthy, Letlow, Lou, Jeffries, Lofgren, Jeffries, Loudermilk, McCarthy, Lucas, McCarthy, Luke Meyer, McCarthy, Luna, McCarthy, McCarthy. Latrell, McCarthy. McCarthy, Lynch, Jeffries. Jeffries, Mace, McCarthy, McCarthy. Magaziner, Jeffries. Jeffries. Maliotakis, McCarthy, Mann, McCarthy, Manning, Jeffries, Massey, McCarthy, Mast, McCarthy, Matsui, Jeffries, McBath, Jeffries, McCarthy, McCarthy. McCall. McCarthy. McLean. McCarthy, McClintock, McCarthy, McCarthy. McCullough, Jeffries, McCormick, McCarthy, McCarthy. McGarvey, Jeffries, Jeffries. What the hell? He brought his kids? Jeffries, McHenry. McHenry. 
They said, take your kids out of here. Who's kid? I didn't pay attention to the name. I just vote is taken for freaking ever. Right? Dude, Yana, I feel you, player. Right, I'm hungry. <clears throat> Miller of Ohio. McCarthy. Miller of West Virginia. McCarthy. Miller Meeks. What the McCarthy. Dude, they be doing too much. They be doing way too much. They're old. They're out of touch with reality. They don't know what's cool and what's not. <laughs> they don't have well, any young people. people in this room. No, oh, they don't. McCarthy. You and I should run SUNY as a team. <laughs> we should run. I would get kicked McCarthy. out of Washington so quick, man. More there would be no help for me. McCarthy. See, like, who are the people that are sitting on top? McCarthy. More Wisconsin. Oh. Uh... Like maybe maybe admins, people from the from the office, they want to sit maybe. in the Maybe. Maybe. Jeff Moulton. Jeffries. Mervan. Jeffries. Mullen. Jeffries. Murphy. Murphy. McCarthy. Nadler, Jeffries. Jeffries. See, I'd be like, what is going on over there? Jeffries. I'd be, I'd be this chick on the right hand side, just standing there, pretend like I'm having a conversation with somebody else. I'd be like, <laughs> Jeffries, Nels, McCarthy, Newhouse, McCarthy, Nickel, Jeffries. Norcross. Jeffries. Norman. McCarthy. None of Iowa. McCarthy. 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 Ocasio Cortez. Jeffries. Jeffries. <laughs> McCarthy. Look at them. They think they're so fucking cool. <laughs> I can change a color. Let's go. Let's go. Palen. Oh, I fucking love Jeffries. this news. Palmer. McCarthy. Panetta. Jeffries. Papa. Obviously, if we were in the room voting. And it's going to come down Jeffries. to who's going to... I would vote McCarthy. There's no Not other choice. But I wouldn't want him there. Yeah, me neither. That would be so tough. Jeffries. Pelosi. Jeffries. Jeffrey! Drug so. I vote for Jeffrey! With her hammer. Jeffries. Perry. Everybody's crushing over Anna Paulina Peters. back there. Jeffries. I know, right? Pedersen. Men, I tell you, bro, men act Jeffries. like they have never seen an attractive woman before. I'm telling you. Craig's always Craig is always uh, doing speaking events Phillips. for her. Or was Jeffries. doing speaking events for her. Pingree. Jeffries. Pocan. Jeffries. Porter. Jeffries. Jeffries. Posey. McCarthy. Presley. Jeffries. Quigley. Jeffries. Ramirez. Jeffries. 
Freshenthaler. McCarthy. McCarthy. She still represents her state. Rogers of Kentucky. You talking about McCarthy. Nancy? Who Nancy Logan. being gone? Rose. Baby in. I don't know that baby ain't going nowhere. She's just a speaker anymore. That's who I wanted Rose to be. <sighs> who are these young people? Jeffries. Rouser. McCarthy. Young people in the building, let's go. McCarthy. Ruiz. Jeffries. Jeffries. Burger. Jeffries. Jeffries. So Kim Jeffries. Rutherford. Rutherford. McCarthy. Ryan. Jeffries, Salazar, McCarthy, Salinas, Jeffries, Salinas, Sanchez, Jeffries, Santos, McCarthy, Starbanes, Jeffries. Is it almost one o'clock in the morning there? McCarthy. Damn near. Scanlon. Jeffries. Got all these old people Shepkowski. up past their bedtime. They know they're wrong. Right. Jeffries. <laughs> Snyder. Jeffries. Jeffries. Skolton. Jeffries. Jeffries. Schreier. Look at her. Jeffries. Every time she opens her mouth, it smells like a bottle of vodka and a pack of Marlboros, man. <laughs> McCarthy. It's Scott. Jeffries. Scott of Virginia. Jeffries. Self. McCarthy. Sessions. McCarthy. Sewell. Jeffries. Sherman. Jeffries. Cheryl. Jeffries. Simpson. McCarthy. Slotkin. Jeffries. Smith of Missouri. McCarthy. Smith of Nebraska. McCarthy. Smith of New Jersey. McCarthy. Smith of Washington. Jeffries. Smucker. McCarthy. Sorensen. Jeffries. Soto. Jeffries. Spanberger. Jeffries. Sparks, McCarthy. Stansbury. Jeffries. Stanton. Jeffries. Stalber, McCarthy, Steele, McCarthy, Stefanik, McCarthy, Style, McCarthy, Stuby, McCarthy, McCarthy, Stevens, Jeffries, Stewart, McCarthy. Strickland, Jeffries, Strong, McCarthy, Swalwell, Jeffries, Sykes, Jeffries, 
Takano. Jeffries. Tenney. McCarthy. Tanadar. Jeffries. Thompson of California. Jeffries. Thompson of Mississippi. Jeffries. Thompson of Pennsylvania. McCarthy. Tiffany. McCarthy. Timmons. McCarthy. Titus. Jeffries. Tlaib. Tonka Jeffries, Jeffries. California Jeffries Torres of New York Torres of New York Jeffries Trahan Jeffries Trone Jeffries Turner McCarthy, Underwood, Jeffries, Valadeo, McCarthy. McCarthy, Van Drew, on behalf of the Southern New Jersey Second Congressional District, Devin McCarthy, McCarthy, Van Dyne. That's my neighbor, y'all. Van Dyne. McCarthy. <laughs> Van Orden. Kevin. McCarthy, Vargas, Jeffries, yes. Hakeem Jeffries, Jeffries, oh. VC. This is like so tedious. I would be in there sleep. Last quest. Jeffries, Wagner, McCarthy, McCarthy, Wahlberg, McCarthy, Waltz, McCarthy. McCarthy. Wasim and Schultz, Jeffries, Waters, Jeffries, Watson, Clinton. Jeffries, Weber of Texas, Kevin McCarthy, McCarthy, Webster of Florida, McCarthy, Winstrup. McCarthy. McCarthy. Westerman. Kevin McCarthy. McCarthy. Wexen. Jeffries. Wild. Jeffries. Jeffries. Williams of Georgia. Jeffries. Williams of New York. McCarthy. Williams of Texas. McCarthy. Wilson of Florida, Jeffries, Wilson of South Carolina, <coughs> McCarthy, McCarthy, Womack, McCarthy, Yakum, McCarthy, Zinke, what just happened? Oh, they just flip. Oh, my God, they flipped somebody. Two fifteen. That makes him the winner, I guess, unless it's. Yep. He just won. And Sunni ain't here. Ma'am. There it is. Exactly, Angie. Man.
Well, guys, let me just say this. At least a Democrat didn't win. At least a Democrat didn't win. Now we see what he's about. Sorry, I'm eating. I have to eat. I'm about to faint. SUNY! He won. At least, at least a Democrat didn't win SUNY. Yes, he yeah. won. But at least a Democrat. He ran out, but at least a Democrat didn't win. And hopefully yeah. we will get the legislation that we passed. Uh, maybe Kevin McCarthy will prove. Hey, listen, listen, don't tell me. It's probably highly unlikely. But he might help us. We'll see. Yeah, he might. He might. Look at him. He might. I'm not, I'm just, you know, I'm not. I'm just not optimistic. I, yeah, I'm not optimistic. I hear you. We'll see what happens. This was the longest show we've ever freaking done, and I never want to go three hours again. I never want to go three hours again either. But you know what? We do need to show this that uh, old Marge over here, she had Donald J. Trump on the phone while they were doing the voting. Look at somebody snapped a picture. Oh, Lord. Why do people like her? Do you you know. know why? She's like the most unlikable person I have ever met. You know, just I don't know. You She's ever real- see somebody and then you want to hit them? You have you ever felt like that? Like for real? I want to slap her. She's got a slappable face. Okay, I'm not alone. And you know who? You know who I want to slap her because she's just close in proximity is little ass Lauren Bobert. But I want her <laughs> to first have that little cap she always puts on, like whenever she goes out. She puts on that little baseball cap. Like, I just want her to look like a little punk and just go up and slap her. But she won't because I think they're buddy buddy. Oh, man. That's right. She gives Aww. it up easy. <clears throat> that was so she gives it up easy. Yeah. Blackluster, the vote. Yeah, just listen because I've listened to a few of these go through from start to finish. Yeah. And every time it's like the buildup, you know what I mean? And then you get there. Yeah. But I say lackluster because, yeah, we won, but not the person I wanted to win. Who did you want to win? Well, I, I guess I'm not the person I wanted to have the nomination. I wanted Jim to have the nomination. I got you. I got you. Yeah. Yeah. Jim Jordan. I think I was looking to Jim Jordan possibly having it. Unfortunately, you know, <laughs> welcome Fabian. to the Republican, uh, the, the Republican madness. What, what can you say? Honestly, what can you say? What can you do? Yeah. Baby, you, you wrong for that. Okay. Putting all the business out there. What? I know Alex Stein likes her. <laughs> Baby and said, I know Alex Stein likes her. Oh yeah. Marjorie they smash. They got it in. Yeah. They smash. They smash. They lied. <laughs> Oakland. I Does he, is no he about to cry? With that woman. Ooh. He looks like he's about to cry. This is all a show. He's not really about to cry. He's I got to see what Nancy's a good face. face. Nancy's pulling her hammer out of her purse right she's now. She's probably trying to rip up three sheets of paper, but because she's so old and decrepit, she can't even rip that up the right way. I remember she tried to rip Trump's speech up that one day, the State of the Union speech. She didn't try. She did. I thought she only ripped halfway because she's weak as shit. I don't know. I could have swore she only ripped it halfway, I just, bro. I just want to know what deals this guy made. I want to know it. He made some shady deals. He definitely he's did. We'll, to have, see him. we'll see them coming out, a, though. Like He's about so, to have a ball gag in his mouth. All righty then. Oh, I hear the baby's <laughs> calling you. I think, it's, I think it's time to end the show. Shout out to me and Sudi yeah. for going three and a half hours. Welcome, my son. You know, this episode is sponsored by J1. I'm not going to put my <laughs> children's name out there. But if you dare come in this camera f- um, frame, we're going to have problems. J1? You go, go ahead and say hi. You want to say hi? Go ahead. Yell. Hi. But don't put yourself in the camera. That's J1. Hi. Right there. 
Why do you call it? My face is my son's face. Just FYI, for I people know. who don't if know. You, if you want to know what Sunni's son looks like, just take the braids off of Sunni. What the Not hell is wrong with you? Hey, tell the kids to give me the Japanese word of the day. I didn't get one. What's the Japanese word of the day? Mo wants to know. Uh, I don't know. You don't know. Um, what are you talking son? about? Son. Okay, how do you say son? Ichini san. Wait. Ichini san. What's son? Three. Oh, San is three. So they just told you how to count to three. I know how to count in Japanese. Each knee, San, Chi. She knows how to count in Japanese. What she does? Yeah. Go, row. Right. Let me hear it. That, they said, let me hear it. Y'all are trying me. Each knee. We'll, we'll do it after the show. In the show. Okay. Guys, thanks for hanging with us for these long, almost four hours. It was fun. Tune in next week. Please don't forget, next week at 9 p.m. Eastern, we will be doing the world's biggest interview with the world's biggest MAGA rapper on the planet. He's a MAGA rapper with plaques, and we're all jealous. So please make sure you tune into that show, and it's going to be freaking amazing. Yep. Mo's going to take the lead because I'm just not as nice as she is. And plus, Suni ruined his career, according to him, so she can't. Yes, and he is making me responsible for saving it. So, right. shall we revive it? Or... Which one should we do? It's all you in know, your hands. We do? My daughter said revive it, so I'm going to listen to the children and be nice and revive his career. No. Temporarily. Repeal the 19th. Repeal the 19th. <gasps> <laughs> she, she said repeal the 19th. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, I yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, All right, All right guys. y'all. This have will a good be night. the only show my children are featured in. I love you guys Bye. for watching. See ya. Um, you guys are so